You and me, baby, we're nothing but map. Man, what the fuck is this? He bought me. See how you do, man. Stingy. Okay, okay, there you go. Stingy and he's selfish, man. See how people change on you? <laughs> Get ready for that. <laughs> Let me see what you've been talking about on here before we get into this. Let's see what you've been talking about in that car, talking that shit. <laughs> in that car, talking that shit. In that Corvette, talking that shit. Corvette, Corvette, all on the beach. Jumped in the Corvette, all on the beach. Talking my shit to a beach in a Corvette. Cause she ain't even got one yet. Told her that's running outside, get an umbrella, bitch, don't get wet. Ooh. Yeah, that's how I be living. Oh, you thought I was done. No, bitch, go get a gun. I'm gonna come for your mom and your son and your sister too when the food get done. Tell your bitch meet me outside. In the Corvette, that's what I drive. If a bitch wanna race me, then tell that hoe meet me on 285. But you gotta wear your seatbelt though. Cause you know I'm putting the band to the floor. If a motherfucker wanna come with me, get in the car, motherfucker, lock that door. And that's one more time. I'm just playing this a cool ass rhyme. You got some that's kinda tight, but them bitches ain't gonna be tight like mine. Mm. My bitch was a nine. <laughs> now she a ten. I might switch it up, do the same shit, and then do it again. What? You didn't know that my name was Los. <laughs> and if I get tired of sleeping on the bed, bitch, I'm gonna sleep on the floor. <laughs> Cause the crib got a whole bunch of hardwood. But it's comfortable and it's soft so a nigga can sleep good. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, bring a blanket. <laughs> Cause I'm the type of nigga that you gonna see on TV. Or you can catch me at the store with the EBT okay. card. Because it's hard. Swear to God, I mean God. <laughs> nigga, swear to God. Come on, bro. Swear to God. Bro, I swear to God. Play swear to God. <laughs> Type of shit we got going on in the trap area oh, today. You think it's over? It's your turn it's though. Started. But it's your turn. My turn. It's your turn. Hey, my turn. Well, roll up then. All right, well, I'm rolling. Hold on. Right, right. I'm rolling. Rolling. Go slow. These bitches keep out. Why? We do this shit on 85. Bitch, we always balling. Balling? Yes. Y'all Y'all know how it go. <laughs> Every time you see us, you know I'm about to smoke. Smoke? Ask me if I got no weed, you already know the answer. Bitch, I'm smoking with dancers. <laughs> really? And she say she a cancer. I got sad and she said, no, I don't have cancer. I'm a cancer. Oh, that's what she said? That was the answer. <laughs> I love when the beat come back, cause I still be black And I used to sell crack, but I didn't do that But Miss Pat did that, and that's a fact That's what she said And she said she wasn't scared Come on. Said a nigga shot a nipple off And she got shot in the head Damn, and that's what I said I couldn't believe the shit either Why the fuck is they shooting at each other And they both some cheaters can you imagine getting shot by a bitch that you're cheating on, that's cheating on you? What the fuck going on? Nigga can't even get no sleep at home with the kids at. They don't stay over here because they stay with my mom and them. Come on. That's too much of my business. Don't worry about mom and them because we're going to bring that drum in them. And you know we got some of them. If we get a whole bag, don't fumble them because if a nigga get a cookie, nigga's going to try to crumble them. Ooh, come again. Nigga, I don't have to just mumble them. I be fumbling like rumple steel skin. Watch my pen pen, cause I've been doing this shit like Roy Simpson since 1993. Kids just wanna go up and be like Mike, but these days they just wanna be like me. <laughs> Stupid. This Every beat. time that motherfucker beat come back, I start to rhyme like I'm selling crack. I don't know why the fuck you be saying that. Cause the shit sound good in the rap, you be selling them cracks to the crackheads. I've been selling them tags to the motherfucking black heads. <laughs> I've been busting these blacks on the motherfucking black heads. <laughs> Man, the shit sound tight when a nigga like me said. <laughs> if the shit real good, push the button there and replay it. <laughs> they can do like we do it. These niggas ain't like us. Cause they ain't had what we done had. Cause they ain't did what we done did. 
And they ain't seen what we done seen. Cause they ain't hear what we done hear. <laughs> Nigga be colder than an ice cube. I might do a film with ice cube. Nah, that's a movie with ice cube. If you gotta do one nigga, you know you gotta do two, cause what type of nigga gonna be good and only do one movie with Ice Cube? That's some shit to think about, man. nigga. Nigga, what is in that weed? Nigga, if you good, Ice Cube will do at least two movies with you. <laughs> <laughs> at least two. Come on, man. Come on, man. This sound like some shit Eminem didn't want to rap on. <laughs> Get this coffee off me, glossy, 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 horsey, glossy. And when you see me, bitch, you cannot force me. Get this off me. It is on me, left it right there where it's supposed to always. <laughs> I need mean, some white people. <laughs> Leave that nigga alone, bro. Nah, I mean, he be saying the shit that nobody else would say, bro. He do, man. Nigga crazy, though. Lyrical, miracle, miracle, dynamical. <laughs> I was spherical. The globe, I was being hemispherical. <laughs> man, that's just the type of shit we be doing over here in the trap, man. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. I don't know if you heard. I don't know who you're friends with. I don't know who you follow on social media. Come I don't on. know if you've ever just been up late night smoking the fat ass blunt on World Star or any one of these platforms, but you probably done came across this lady right here on there saying some shit that was too real. Yeah. Uh, people arguing all in the comments. Yeah. Motherfuckers <laughs> is reposting the video just so they can write the caption and be like, I don't, I don't agree. What you think? Oh, the topic of Agree. Us. Discuss yeah. in the comments. Come on, man. She be saying a lot of shit. And people always tagging me in her videos and sending me clips and like, you gotta get love, Dorsey on here. So we got her on here today. There you go. Ladies and there gentlemen, you go. let's go, man. Love Dorsey. Love Dorsey on the video. No, look, speaking of the comments, the worst about them. be when a motherfucker tagged their baby daddy or baby mama. Mm. Being messy. Trying to get my video to tell them what they want to tell them. Oh, then they start God. arguing with each other in the comments. Well, maybe you like a hood therapist. That's what they say, a hood Oprah. Yeah, but shit, help us. Put us up on some game. What's what the strength talking about this we, week? We got to know. Oh, okay, I don't even shit. know what it's like out here no more, man. You ain't dating? Huh? You in a relationship? I just had a baby. The baby just, I, I don't know nothing else but not going to sleep. <laughs> and making sure this baby. He had a turning point in his life. Yeah. No, you in a good space. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, I ain't, I don't know He in a good space, though. I'm happy Embrace it. The yeah, early happy. stage. I'm happy than a motherfucker. <laughs> he, I'm the only one who can make a baby go to sleep. He said, like he tried to convince us I'm happy than a motherfucker. Nah, he happy for real. Nah, for he real. been waiting to say that. Because I used to not <laughs> give a fuck about no baby pictures. You know, you try to show me the baby picture, I'm like, all right, cool. But now I got one, I'll be the motherfucker. Exactly. He's the type of nigga. So you used to be the nigga call, call somebody baby ugly? <laughs> I wouldn't say it out loud. But I would say it in my head like a motherfucker. You know, you know what you say. You know what you say when the baby ugly. So you just look at the picture? <laughs> you compliment other shit. Like, where y'all get this stroller from? <laughs> this, this is amazing. Nice. <laughs> hey, that's him, man. <laughs> look at him. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> Bless his heart. That's ugly. That's him. <laughs> Bless, Bless his heart is ugly. No, nah, but you know, the people get in my comments, baby mamas against baby daddies. It's, it's like the it's, it's like the war of the male against the female. Got to be if 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 a female feel like this, dudes got to feel like this. Dudes feel like this, females got to feel like this, and it be boiling down to you know, women we struggle with managing our emotions. Dudes a little bit more practical when it sometimes, comes to relationships. Come sometimes I know for a fact I'd be irrational as fuck sometimes. Explain. I, I could just, hey man, once I just go to that level, I'm irrational. Ain't that no might talk. be the weed, though. So I think every nigga got that point where they just right. get irrational. The where you just get so mad, you don't give a fuck that it ain't the right solution. You just want some shit to happen right then. No, but see, dudes don't do life like females. We, when we can't manage our emotions, we create them hypothetical situations in our mind. Now y'all do do that. We Making do, up cause, shit. Because if you, if you go to the store and take too long, we already played out what you did. You went to the store, you seen that bitch Keisha, you got in the car with her, you got some head. That's what took you long. When you and came that, back. And y'all be believing this yeah, shit really we, happened. Listen, we done replayed it. By the time you get back, 
We finna treat you like you got some hair from Kisha. Well, we don't know that it happened. You yeah, Kisha might not have been at the store, mm. but that's what happened in our mind. And that's the shit that fuck with you the most, getting accused of some shit you ain't motherfucking do. For real. I ain't do it, so you be like, I should have did it. Especially when it be Where some far fetched shit. At? And then you be like, what, what is you talking about? Keisha, must, Keisha said something about sucking my dick or something. I didn't even know that you wanted to do that. <laughs> my dick, thanks for the info. <laughs> so you said Keisha ready to give up some head right quick. <laughs> what you know you that bitch Keisha been trying to. Who is your source? This, you heard this from? <laughs> we made it up in our head. Shit. But you took too long at the snow. The store about nine minutes from here. It don't take you but about five to go in if the line long. It might take eight minutes. How long that took? Another night. You took probably about 35, 40 minutes. That's enough time to get some hair. That ain't enough time to get that, some that hair. Is, that no, is. That's enough time to go get some weed. I probably got some little blunts. That is shit. not enough time to get no hair. It's it ain't a nigga. Out, even the most cheap nigga ain't going to take a 30 minute window to try to sneak and get some hair right quick. That's enough time. And go time back to get home. <laughs> Well, you wild. That, that's you, well, you was a you wild to, nigga. You just gonna the, fuck your home the, up, huh? The point is, that's <laughs> You don't give a fuck about your family. <laughs> that's what we told ourselves in our head, so it happened. Where you gonna run, get some head right quick and come back home? <laughs> Hell no, nah, that's that young nigga shit, because I'm not finna go get some head somewhere and it's some head right here in the house. Now that she ain't giving it up. Well, why she ain't giving it up? Why she in this house, Now, nah, y'all, boy, stop acting like you ain't been on a relationship where a bitch ain't giving up no head. Shit. You know, no. Mm -mm. That's part of oh, being in the relationship with me. That's in the fine print. You got to want to give me some head even when you mad. So we, we, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, if I'm a fuck with Jess, the only one going to get the gay. I'm, hey, we getting gilled. So mm -hmm. she get mad and don't give up no head. I'm just not supposed to get no head? That's, that's, that's in, the in dangerous most women book, yeah. You know, that's some dangerous shit right there. You not going to be able to cut my water off like that. Your water? Mm-mm. What? All my hair got so to go you, through so you? Got, right. Listen, because y'all got to keep it 1K with me. Y'all ain't never been in a relationship, and a female in the relationship because she feel like you cheating or whatever cut you off from sexual activity. You got to look around, baby. This is the 85 South Show. They, 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 don't, they don't treat us like that no more. <laughs> No, no, we, no, no, we don't. No, with that red no, no, shit. No, 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 but it ain't not happened before. Oh, yeah. Back, okay, then, quick. Back when a nigga had dreams. <laughs> and then a nigga started living. When nobody believed in hey, a nigga. You think all my dreams came true except some <laughs> of them? I'm not putting up with none of this type of dog ass shit. You no. done been through it, though. I have. Exactly. That's too dangerous, though. That is abuse, if you think about it. You withholding? <laughs> Come on, man. With. The intention. This the shit that can fix the game. No, stay through it. it. No, you stayed through it. Huh? You might ain't stay long, but you stayed through it. I mean, it depends on how long it's gonna be. Like, if this is just gonna be like a recurrent thing. You mean like no more today, or like you? How long this? What? To, how well, how gotta, long she mad? No, I'm, I'm mad. Well, you gotta get unmad quick, okay? You need to have the attention span of a puppy, right? Okay? You need to be unupset. Hey, your point is made. <laughs> I get it. You're mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> but look, it's not happening, y'all. You ain't you ain't leave right away. Why you ain't leave? Shit. Sometimes you don't be one. Sometimes they be worth working it out in the long run. <laughs> but <laughs> sometimes you, you, you be like, hey, you can be mad Kill all the lens, fuck you want nigga. to. Sometimes it depends on the lady, man. Sometimes niggas be ready for that shit to be over with. All we need is one more argument. We is just one argument away from you, you saying, you know this what? This nigga going along with the stories. The, Look the at story, all the niggas the in here silently she, agreeing, like, that's true. <laughs> yeah. The story she made up every, in her Every nigga in here going along with him. One accusation up. away from getting the fuck on. <laughs> well, yeah, but the stories is, that take away from your peace. You already know that. And that, and that's the shit that, you know what I'm saying? You you can do that too many times. You only got so many lives on, on the fucking up my peace shit. Exactly. But you know what, on some real shit, I don't think it be coming from a space of trying to fuck up nobody peace. When we raised, like, that shit was left out. Like, we ain't taught to manage our emotions and, like, basically, I be saying this on my videos, the kindergarten teachers fucked a lot of us up. When they said, we gonna teach you how to use your imagination, like, close your eyes, imagine you're in outer space. Like when they taught you that fucked females up. We start imagining shit when you but ain't you supposed ain't to listen. Be you shit. supposed to imagine outer space 
and you was imagining this nigga getting hate. No, that's like where that's where you took from. Okay. That's what I'm trying what? to say. But when this they month, taught you we got imagination listen. too, but we no, don't no, use no. ours for evil. That's what I'm saying. When they taught imagine how to use your imagination in kindergarten, they ain't elaborate enough on that shit. Cause females, we take that shit and we we imagine a way past just out, and your mind will go places to where you created vivid stories that occurred that didn't occur, and you act on them bitches. Why they always gotta be negative, though? Why you we don't imagine that good? Why they always yeah. don't imagine no good yeah. shit? Yeah. My nigga like, out there saving puppies. Oh. <laughs> and helping the old, old ladies try to have the street. Time. Oh, he probably out there being a great nigga. Oh. This nigga said a great nigga. It was a pregnant dog. It needed some water. I pulled over. Like, yeah. No, that is funny, y'all just, but y'all, but that's the thing women kind of do. Y'all use whatever fucking shit you learn, however the fuck you want to use. You take that imagination shit, mix it with intuition, and a bitch who unstable based on traumas. You listen. Y'all heard what Miss Pat was telling y'all. That's a lot of trauma. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of trauma. Yeah. Shit. And then you know when you a kid growing up black, your mama tell you how you feel. Now you gotta think about this. Ain't nothing wrong with you, boy. Shut up, girl. Go sit your ass down. You all right? This what you your brain telling you like something wrong. You feel some type of way. But the adult that's raising you telling you ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong, wrong with you. Yeah. I'm bleeding. Let they sit uh, your uh, ass down. That shit don't hurt. <laughs> this how you get handled for years. This so is then true. When you, when you sometimes up, even as an adult. I still be hearing that shit in my mind. Ain't nothing wrong. Sit your ass down. <laughs> I should have just sat my ass down. But I think sometimes that, that shit work. When you hear that intuition, you don't know, never know what voice it might take. But that's dangerous, though. Is it? Yeah. Tonight. Sometimes I hear come soon. What you say? Smoke some, bitch. Right. <laughs> I'm Who stressed. else voices pop in your head? Cause I have some pop in mine too. Oh, it's definitely Pimp C. He I done put on some bullshit, that nigga said, this take nigga that monkey shit too. off, you embarrassing us. And I went and changed, nigga. Said, you right, you right. Sometimes I be hearing Pimp C in my head, it don't even be lyrics, man, it just what be like say? his voice. What like say? when I'm in my car, riding by myself, and I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Little joint might call, and then when you hang up with it, it's like, yeah, man, I got you, bitch, man. That's got just, your bitch, man. I got your bitch, man. <laughs> you riding good in the motherfucking man. snow. Leveling wood everywhere, man. Looking up at the motherfucking stars in the sky, man. I got your bitch, man. <laughs> I do him. Well, see, our intuition be shit to reinforce what we think. Y'all intuition always go to the, not y'all. I'm not gonna say that because I know. But you know what I'm saying. Women's. No, but you know, females, we taught to do more mental work from coming up. Like, you know how, okay, so females, you know, the, the role of a female, you do housework. Like, these, when you when you learning gender roles, so when it comes to cooking, washing dishes, you prep. Your mental is taught to, like, think through what you about to do to line it up so it becomes easier. It, it's different for little boys. So already, we are, our mind already working, you know, way more than the average little boy mind when you coming up just being taught your roles. So then you mix so. that shit with imagination, and a bitch ain't explain that shit all the way through. You mix it with intuition and nobody ain't taught you how to separate what you feel from reality. That shit had you all over the place, rightfully so. Yeah. You can't knock imagination. I don't want to knock imagination. Not this knock shit, it, but you but got the to use of it. Listen, how they use it. You you got a brand yeah. new kid. When your baby, when you when your baby start learning about imagination and stuff like that, like make sure you clarify the extent that your mind can go if you stay in that place. Some people don't come back. A lot of motherfuckers living in a world of make-believe. <laughs> and that's what's got the game fucked up. But I made the world believe. Sometimes you can be real convinced. You hear me? Shit real if you believe it. Man, if you believe it. It gotta have some it. talent or some real basis yeah. behind it. Yeah, but, but that some, comes some from Some people doing. just imagining shit. Ain't nothing behind it, it's just... But it's yeah, real. You can't build it if you ain't working towards it. You gotta work on whatever the fuck you say you doing. You gotta do it. It's they a gotta lot have of niggas some that, talent or some real basic behind right, that shit. Right. It's some motherfuckers that's not doing shit that say they do shit. I seen that. Repeatedly. That, that's just what the fuck happens. I mean, that's the world we live in. I mean, look how backward shit is right now, man. Motherfuckers jumped on a plane today, bro. It's just, 
the fuck was supposed to happen? You talking about the the yeah. trying to get out of Afghanistan? What the fuck? What, 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 how did they think that was going to end? They got they got to go, bro. They got to go. Niggas, they you like know, these what? niggas. You know how fucking going? far that plane was going? Even if that if what, how how does this end? Okay, so but basically in their mind. I'm assuming. Like, they're gonna get away and be like, whoop, we gotta stop and get these motherfuckers that, out the that plane. Was, that was PTSD mixed with just panic. But they gotta get out of there because them, they in charge now. And you done worked against them. What you think finna happen? You done worked with the people they saying, you know what I'm saying? And you see the, yeah, hey, I don't know, shit. They had little. to go, they like, damn. That was, that was an emergency moment. Like, yes. that, was, that was, you You had to make a, de a decision, like, in that. If I don't like, leave, they now, finna kill on, me. What's your, what's your decision now? Be. Like, life or death, now. If I don't go. Nigga, you take it too long. <laughs> Nigga, now. <nah. laughs> but out of all the scenarios that, I'm gonna hold on. To the plane? Because if I stay here, they gonna well, kill me. Well, what else you could come up with that quick? He didn't think he was gonna make it through the night, you, bro. You'd have had to roll be. up. You'd have had to roll up and think about it. The man made a decision. Nigga, I'm from here. I'm gonna take my chance. <laughs> man. I'm, I know some back streets or something. I'm, I gotta go fuck with my niggas. Man, let me, go, let me go see if my nigga hey, still man, got that scooter. My nigga still got them caves on deck. If he still got nigga. that scooter. Hey, man, y'all still got that underground tunnel at your house? <laughs> man, <laughs> hey. And you still know the Lydens? Can you call? <laughs> can you call Roy Lydon and see I if I can? Roy <laughs> Put Auntie on the phone. Let's be Auntie. Man, that man had to make a decision in the see, moment. Man. Exactly, but you know we don't never talk about no political shit. But apparently, this is the type of shit. But we done left all the shit over there. I'm sorry, I ain't even, like okay. We done left all the shit. Nigga, helicopters, dog. If you leave a helicopter in the hood, niggas gonna figure out how to fly it. Okay, but check this out. <laughs> like, they, they done played enough Grand Theft Auto, and niggas gonna be like, just get it up a little bit, like, oh! Oh, so they put it in the ground. Like, that's all right, all right, that's how you get it up. That's how you, that's how you get it up. All right, what, 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 what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shh, shh. Oh! All right, all right, all right, cool, cool. Hey, they don't know how to fly them, so they don't go up too high. Whoa! Buddy, 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 buddy. That's enough, buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy. Y'all fucking crazy. It's going to be a bitch somewhere, Brad. Always helicopter. It's going to be a bitch somewhere. Always helicopter. It's gonna These be, niggas driving a helicopter. It's going to be a bitch somewhere bragging that her nigga drove the helicopter. Exactly. I mean, she going to take a picture in front of them. You know he a pilot now. This nigga out in front of the house. I love him. But you know the best part about them bitches, though? Is they only got one tank of gas. Oh, yeah. So when them bitches run out of gas, they're going to be motorcycles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're they gonna break that bitch down. They're they gonna have the bitch. fastest motorcycle in the goddamn world. Put a helicopter on your way. You're gonna be sad as hell when you see some little kids running with their goddamn propellers. Oh my god. They left all that shit. They not bringing that shit back. But I believe in. I believe. And, like, I they, know make it, hold up. and they make it heroin. I'm sorry. I, I, I know America, where they, though. Where that came from? Whatever they left. Afghanistan? It's some shit missing. Poppies? Don't think they just left shit intact. Whatever they left, the other part of it ain't there. If they left the helicopter, ain't no keys. <laughs> ain't you no can key. hotwire it. Okay. You can, but I'm saying that it's inconvenient. And the shit probably Three made motherfuckers that got electrocuted. Hopefully they, they left a lot of shit that's made in America that don't work that good anyway. You know but that you, America, You man. keep saying they left all this stuff like they had time. No, but I'm saying, like, it's... You at least pack they, your shit up, though, we, and leave. Our army left shit. You can't just pack up a helicopter and leave. One thing about the army. Fly that bitch to another country and drop it off somewhere with If the army, the military left some shit. Listen, you park in the car at somebody's house. Hey, Lowe's, let me park this helicopter in your front. When, the, no, to when the heat is on, you know how it go. We got to get rid of all this shit, man. Take that shit somewhere, hide that shit, hide this. It's a trick. What it is. If the military left some shit, that mean they got some better shit already. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like. They trying to like, all right, pick this up. But it's also the money, cause I ain't gonna talk about it, cause then. We, we all, we this whole shit finna be static. Yeah, they gonna cut this out. Oh, this finna talk be Talk about static. the other shit, man. We can't yeah, talk we about We gotta get back to the talk about the shit. CNN oh, shit, man. Talk about that shit in the Corvette, man. You know what? I know, I know. These niggas don't trust nobody. Talk but about this trauma. Don't do it. <laughs> you did. This nigga went left like one of them bitches in my videos. <laughs> You done built up a nice fan base. Talking that shit. 
He talking about talking that shit. Talking that shit. It's just something about having, you know, a point of view on social media, but it was just attract all these fucking people that you didn't know existed. It'd it be real life shit, you know, the stuff we missed in our upbringing. Shit that, pe you know, the conversations people ain't talking about. I call it the uncomfortable conversations. Some of the biggest, you know, misconception about our people is that we don't communicate well. Which is false. We're some great communicators, but... We can be. Yeah. I just think other people who observe the conversation, they always misinterpret what happened. So we, we always backpedaling and trying to explain where they had us fucked up at. <laughs> but you know, it be, it be a lot of, a lot of this in our own, amongst us. Like I'll give you an example. One, one of my videos that went viral a few times I talked about women pressure and monogamy or just the concept of pressure and monogamy. So, you know, you had the people that felt like, how you pressure somebody to be monogamous with you? How you pressure, I ain't make this nigga marry me. Like, I ain't make him stand at the altar. But, you kind of did, though. No, nah, but if we just be real, we use a lot of shit to pressure people to be with us. Bitches use child support, babies. Niggas use money. People, you if you ain't got no place to stay, bitch gonna use that. It's a nigga right now staying with a bitch because of the Nissan Altima. Cause he, if he, if she, if he, if she break up with him, he ain't gonna have no car. No, but he's so blind, he don't even know. Hobo, if, homosexual. If he can That's save up three hundred dollars a month, he can have one too. <laughs> and I want him to hear this on my platform, nigga. You can have your own ultimate insurance and everything, bro, for about uh, three fifty. It's a bitch months. in the back, like he ain't got no license. But he I'm ain't got no motherfucking driver's license. You know why? Let me get that ultimate. They trying to motivate niggas, bro. <laughs> niggas be closer than they think. You just gotta start somewhere. Just do something. This you nigga know how to do something. Every nigga who's like behind on shit. Yeah, nigga, you coming in that room out. every day. You need to go down there and talk to them folks, and you do. What folks? That's exactly what you need to figure out who the yeah. folks is what? first. Let, yeah. let me ask y'all this. When niggas be like, you know, when, when a, a bitch finna break up with a dude, and the dude be like, man, I'm gonna go talk to the lady. What lady y'all be talking about? That lady who know better. What lady? Every nigga know one lady that's been trying to tell you to be a good person since you was a little boy. Yeah, when you go down, every nigga know that lady. Yeah. That could be that nigga mama, like that grandma, nigga say his auntie. Go Every nigga got one lady that he gonna talk to when shit get bad, bad. So believe a nigga when he tell you he don't want to talk to that lady. <laughs> I believe it. Shit. Look at a nigga. Every nigga in here is just nine. Like, man, real. Somebody try to put you on the straight path and right. tell you you can't be, and you just, you, they, they the only person that, that might be cool some, I feel like that be some shit a nigga say so it don't fall apart. She finna take the Altima. See, the only thing about, see, y'all don't never factor this shit in. When a nigga bring you around some people he respect, they gonna tell you if she a good woman or not. Cause they know you. You ever brought a motherfucker around and your mama won't even look up at you. She just watching this. <laughs> I don't know about that one right there. <laughs> uh -huh. No. That bitch shook my hand. That bitch hand was loose. I don't know. Don't fuck with that one. But you can bring in the whole freak over there. I'm like, that's a nice girl. That's right. A, that's a nice girl. Right. <laughs> so you saying that you keep that you one? You like you don't know that's, who she's nasty. You don't know. Yes. So you saying mom be getting it wrong? I ain't saying mom be wrong. Mom be right in the motherfucker. It's just how some people know how to present. That be that representative. You know, the beginning of the relationship, you show up with your representative. I'm past that phase of my life. So you show up with I'm you. showing up. <laughs> Me. I'm showing Hey, you want to hit this before we go over here? Okay. Hey, what's the other shit? Hey, I'm no telling you now. Hey, man. when we get here and they don't like the shit, we might be leaving. <laughs> I'm telling you now. I swear, I don't, I don't know why people waste time dating motherfuckers. They don't even know if they like it. Most people are afraid they ain't going to be accepted. Shit. Well, that ain't the person you want to be fucking with anyway. People I'm gonna give y'all some advice. On. Start first, like you gotta fuck first, then date. Mm -mm. Me out here dating people you don't know if they, they no, you don't even know if that's a relationship no. you wanna be in. Eight dates. No. Y'all know I gotta say it. Shit. Eight dates, ho. No, eight that, dates. It's called eight dates, ho. You mm -hmm. gotta say the whole name. Eight dates, ho. Yep. And, and, at, you at you eight need eight. to go on at least eight dates no, you when don't. you meet some. I'm finna tell you why. Cause the, most people ain't gonna make it past the first four. 
You're going to meet their representative for the first four dates. And when I say dates, I mean go out and experience life with them in eight different units of time. So you can get an understand. I'm telling you, go go out with somebody and, and go somewhere where y'all barely can find a parking space. You're going to see parts of their personality come. Motherfuckers get frustrated like a motherfucker. This going to show you how they problem solve in the future. Hey, it's Clayton English here. It's good to see the teams back out on the gridiron. Lucky for us, that was just week one. DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL, is putting you in the center of the action for week two. New customers can get a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit by signing up using code 85SOUTH. Get in on the action now. It's simple. Just pick your lineup, stay under the salary cap, and see how your team stacks up against the competition. Feel the NFL action like never before with a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. Download the DraftKings app now and use code 85SOUTH. This week, new customers can get a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes. Enter code 85SOUTH to get a free shot at millions in total prizes with your first deposit. That's code 85SOUTH. Only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller. Have you ever forgot that one thing at the store and the game is getting ready to start? DoorDash is the perfect thing to help. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash too. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first orders of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and you enter the code 85SOUTH2021. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order. When you download the DoorDash app in the App Store, and enter code 85SOUTH2021. Don't forget, that's code 85SOUTH2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms may apply. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and 85 South Show listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com backslash 85 South. What's up? I'm Clayton English. Is there something that's interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. So you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Visit betterhelp.com backslash 85 south. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. You fuck around and have a kid with them, build a household with them, they showing you eight separate units of time, it's go out and experience life. Like, go do something that has to do with just not sitting across the table at dinner asking each other them lame-ass questions. Go do something. See how this problem solved. See how a nigga act around other people. This Jay gonna bro. tell you all the stuff you need to know. <laughs> That's why I said fuck first. That's gonna tell you everything you need to know. That gonna Should tell me so, everything. But you know, I'm finna kill him. So look, you ain't never fucked nobody and at first it was good, but then later on it changed. Mm. Men say that all the time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The pussy changed or she changed? She changed. Yeah, she changed. This the one pussy was consistent. That's why men stay in a no, terrible listen, relationship too niggas, long. Niggas that pussy like, be consistent than a motherfucker. And then relationship as soon as you lock garbage in, is hell. <laughs> what, what happens as soon as you lock in? Huh? Soon as you, this is the number one soon complaint men be having. Yeah. When they dating a bitch, she be putting it on them. Rock the dick for a long time, suck the dick for a long time. Soon as he lock in, marry you, let everybody know that's my life. That, that shit changed. I ain't never it been changed. on that side of the, of the game. I ain't locked in and married now. I know that it, I know women can change their pussy on your ass, though. <laughs>
Because they got levels he, to he that like, shit. What's what that show called where they keep waking up and they keep the same days, keep repeating? No, I'm he telling don't you. You don't see the, these niggas on the bitch come out the, uh, out the damn uh, representative stage. No, that ain't the rep. Well, all, them, all them different representatives got it, a different It's the push. same dates repeated over and over again. It ain't yeah. the same date. They'll trick you. They got some pussy that they give you before the relationship. That that's what I'm, amazing. That's what I'm saying. That is amazing. That's and then why that you get that, first don't matter. that new boyfriend pussy hit so different. <laughs> when you the new nigga. But what? But let's do the analytics. There's a drop off. I'm telling you, he, listen, he know it's true. That's, listen, that's part of the reason why for a while because, he, he look, every in nigga, in the, he every nigga in the change. world know. As soon as he said, by the that's time you my fuck, lady, she fucking Sometimes you'll fuck up and then she'll give you that pussy that shit. It's like, it's just enough that pussy. First, that first night pussy. No, nah, it's like, like, say for instance, she catch you fucking up or she disagree or she mad in her feelings. She got some other pussy that's just for that. <laughs> that ain't the same pussy you been getting before she got mad at he, you. He ain't lying. That's just like a little pussy. be like... Him. This is a little pussy just to keep this relationship together. Like, keep you it keep, going. Right. Keep then as soon going. as she ain't mad no more, it's like, plug it back on. Streets is jumping. He ain't lying. He It'll jump play. back up. It's like cryptocurrency. <laughs> that shit be up though. That shit'll jump up real quick. Oh, right. it's spiked. What the fuck is going on? Okay. On now check this yeah. out. Now the pussy she give you when you mad at her, if you got that shit every day, that'll throw your whole equilibrium off. <laughs> Man, you would be you you wouldn't be able to fuck you wouldn't be you wouldn't be working as hard as you need to work. That shit is so seasonal. <laughs> that ain't even on the menu. It's, it's what make you feel festive. It's what? what make you get the holiday together. I'm gonna go ahead and set this shit up for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we gonna deep fry the turkey. And then Love Dorsey talking about put division in a problem solving situation. <clears throat> That's how you. I'm telling you. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. So what's a good this so, so parking, that's that's a dope example. Um, listen, I fuck with I'm that. telling you, but what's, you I'm telling you, take a bitch out, like he said, what is the escape room? Just if you just out and about life, you ain't just sitting <laughs> over talking about no, no shit. Escape room with now one of y'all. <laughs> Hell no. But listen, them situations, <laughs> with, like a lot of niggas in situations with their baby mama, that shit like an escape room. Oh. Like every corner you turn, bitch, chop for Can't see back. <laughs> Clothes, school, bitch. The Jordans ain't fit. Some of them, What's going on? Some you got a new doors, bitch, don't bring my baby around the bitch. That's some an escape room, nigga. Some of them doors just open up to not. another door. You ain't. <laughs> right, right. Like, you, you ain't got no problem solving skills. Yeah, you supposed to try to figure this shit out up front. No problem solving. She is up front. I'm telling you, eight dates. Uh -uh. That's too many dates. Eight dates. In this economy. This nigga said in this economy. Okay, so, so for free. Right? Can that be possible? Four yeah. free dates. You can do four free you dates. You a clever nigga. You can't come up with four free dates? Nope. Well, you ain't spending no I money. I could. I used to could. Uh-uh. Used to could. So used you can't could. you can't pull without paying without spending some money? Who said that? I'm asking. What are you talking about? Four four free you can't come up with four different ideas besides fucking. I'm in a Where it ain't. No, nah, I'm just saying. Fucking is gonna let you know a whole lot this of shit. people who don't have it. That yeah. shit be not you. Just a take a look at this. You done went on eight dates with this lady. She give you some. She give you some pussy after that. She, it ain't relationship. But you say she can't pussy. give you no pussy. No, That's not what I'm saying. You didn't. You didn't went on eight dates. Mm -hmm. Now she think y'all vibing and going somewhere. She give you the pussy. It's not relationship pussy. Okay. Then but, what? Okay, but look. So wait a minute. Every, it's eight before they get it. You can't. You no, can't you give not, a nigga a little he, dabble. He, in he the, added like you can't fuck. You. I ain't saying you. I'm saying. Eight oh, different units of time. Not, not experience the person. No, 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 what he ain't understanding is people be giving up pussy right away. And it be good. And then you find out the stuff I'm talking about with the eight dates after you got the bitch pregnant. She's saying you can fuck. You already hooked on you the pussy. You can fuck during the eight dates. That's what she's saying. Get to know the person. That's the mulligan. <laughs> the mulligan. That's the mulligan. <laughs> That's this nigga talking about. Because how you gonna stay focused? What you mean? You fuck around and you going on these dates and then you throwing a little pussy in there. Then you gonna start thinking these dates is actually better than they are. Like, man, I had fun. Got some more than pussy you gave me. <laughs> you gonna, that if no, you, you no, will feel it. You will feel it. You will feel it. Thank you. Cause, cause if you, if you cause looking you for more than just pussy, pussy in there, you ain't gonna feel like Man, you gonna swear you had more fun than it actually did. So the pussy like season. Man, I ain't, I, never, I ain't never seen my Walt Disney on ice. What the way it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you should have seen Pinocchio. What? <laughs> and when he jumped up and said, I'm a real one. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this nigga, you just say you want to fuck. Just say that. No, I'm just saying, bro. You should bring some you clothes on that nigga going to put some cap on it, bro. I'm telling you. Just say you want to fuck. <laughs> No, it's not even that. It's just that you just got to make sure the person that you're doing all this extra shit with is who you want to be fucking all the time. Yes. So you you think the fucking matter more? I'm not saying the fucking matter more. The fucking is what's good. That's just like the you receipt. You ain't saying the fucking matter more. You played the game. Got... You ever played the game at the arcade for the tickets? The fucking is the tickets. You're going to have to take them tickets to the counter <laughs> and see how much shit you can get for these tickets that she gave you. That's the only way I can explain it. Not what? going on eight fucking... Wait a minute, wait a minute. We had Chuck and Cheese. Dates. You playing games like a motherfucker having fun. Now you get three tickets. You can't get shit but a whistle. <laughs> no. The game's still no. fun. No, you just got to keep that, playing. That, so wait a minute. Listen, you said it ain't worth a damn. If the, if the, eight, the game is fun, if, but it ain't worth... A, you're not no. getting much out of it. No. If, if the eight days go well, he'll be walking around blowing that whistle. You ever see the kid Man. with a whistle for the first time? They don't stop blowing that bitch. You ate. got some bubbles, too. <laughs> <laughs> eight dates. Eight dates. Shit. Eight different units of time, I'm Bro, telling you. Man, man, ain't nobody about what, what do you say to all the niggas that got the pussy up front and then later on found out she was a problem? Explain that method. They hey, fucked off top. It was good pussy. That's why they kept fucking her. But then they found out later on, crazy is all out like those. A fair exchange is no robbery. Wherever the relationship ended, that's how long, that's how good the pussy was to last for this long. If you meet a motherfucker and you fuck him first and then y'all kicked it for six months, that's what it was supposed to do. Mm -mm. Everybody ain't your soulmate. Some of these people are your fuck buddies. Mm -mm. This a whole earth. So you get one soulmate, but you can fuck who you want to. The, pro the problem with that is, a lot of people, their feelings is attached to fucking. Hey Amen. So for some people, it sound cool what he's saying, but for other people, cool. we still go together. The pussy ended after about two months, but we still, we still together. You or you, according to you, we ain't. According to me, we is. Oh, my goodness. You got to run some scrimmage games. I think that's what, what he's saying. Is this nigga talking about? Like, come on, we just got to play and see if we can. You know know hey, we got to build some chemistry. Ooh, bro. okay. <laughs> 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 Do y'all no listen? No do y'all understand what's going on with women nowadays? Do you understand that every time we talk about some shit between men and women, y'all asking for more and more shit? Eight goddamn dates. Eight? What, what's wrong with eight dates? Tell me what's you wrong with eight dates. You tell me how many? But uh, look, in the course of fucking with somebody, you gonna go on eight dates, bro? My nigga. You fucking and you vibe with them, yeah, but I, I kind of see. You it. gotta see but how they is. What, let me see what, what you saying. Eight motherfucking dates. Eight dates. You most but if you fucking with a bitch, you gonna go on eight dates anyway. She's saying just you. I think. Who's uh, to say that we going on eight dates? You gonna y'all go do? She said do eight things, right? She go said, out in eight different units of time and experience life. It ain't gotta most be a date. bitches, you That's ain't gonna make it said. past four. Right, is what I'm saying. Right, you man. probably gonna fuck, and something gonna turn you off by the fourth date. That's exactly what I'm saying. You should have turned me off before we got to the fourth <laughs> date. <laughs> Why we gotta be four dates in before I'm turned off? I wanna be turned off before we do all this new <laughs> shit. <laughs> you don't wanna be caught up I'm in I'm not about to be four oh, dates oh. in and you got 11 fucking toes? Damn, <laughs> you caught up on the pussy, right? So you doing all this shit <laughs> and you wouldn't do it unless you was getting the pussy. Right! So the pussy got you on this roller coaster of eight. <laughs> oh, no, this is a eight crazy night. You want to do that? This, this nigga is real stupid. <laughs> just, just say you want to fuck up front. Just say that. I'm look, all I'm saying Cause is. Because you ain't said yet what the problem is with eight all days. Because you going to take a bitch you like with good pussy on more worth, than eight days. Be worth all the time we wasting. That's all the fuck I'm saying. It don't take me eight days to figure out if I like you. This shit might not work on the first date. What if she get in my goddamn car and light a whole cigarette? We don't got to go on <laughs> seven more dates. I know this shit ain't motherfucking. 
Look, one no, of them, no, pull over this gas station. <laughs> I've only got two <laughs> squares left. You just riding and talking and vibing. You look up, this bitch got the stem. <laughs> Smoking meth. <laughs> the point is to get an understanding for the person character. Hey, the woman. Before... <laughs> when you start doing that, that? you four days ago. <laughs> the point is to get an understanding for the person character before you start mixing like that. Because for most people, emotions is tied to sex. That's you right. might be in there just fucking, but, but they ain't know like what their imagination is. feelings with some condom sex, you just petty. Like, you just looking for some trouble. Don't nobody, that ain't even really real. You out here catching feelings with some condom sex. That's a rehearsal. That's that's a red flag for me. Like, like, man, rehearsal. what if I hit it with the real? No, nah, I can't even do it. That's how you know when the condom breaks. That shit feel real. Mm -hmm. As soon as the condom break, you like, uh oh, is this? You do not even. You do not place. supposed to be catching feelings over no condom sex. <laughs> But if the condom break, you're not gonna stop fucking. If the condom break, then you might then you get away with that, but cause then you 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 it feel like you went upstairs. What? You feel like the new part of the pussy. You like your pussy has a foyer. <laughs> oh, okay, this is crazy. Is this a ballroom? Where the fuck? You, can, you know when it broke, cause you can feel that shit tingling in your back like you about to grow some wings at that bitch. <laughs> this bitch Am I turning into an archangel? <laughs> this eight days. Go on eight dates. Go on eight name, dates. name eight dates. What do you eight consider? Dates. Like, tell me what that means. Eight different dates. Go Give out and experience. Give me eight different scenarios like, that might be a we date. We just said two. Like we can what? go out and go to the escape room. Escape room. We can go to the movies. What you supposed to do after that? Just movies? Just, you you know crazy. what I'm saying? You go to the escape you can room. Talk to him. And then you be like, girl, you crazy. It took her two hours to get out of there. I get with you tomorrow. Go, you can go, do, go experience. No, nah, they get you the fuck out in the escape room. I'm bro. asking, how this shit work? Girl, you a fool. Hey, hit me more. Text me when you get in the house. <laughs> we got out of there, didn't we? Hey. <laughs> hey. I said it. Y'all watch too many movies. What no, are you saying? Hey, before listen, you go in the house, you, don't forget your t-shirt. Listen, you laughing. But if you go to something like an escape room with a bitch and she start acting, this even for females with dudes. This nigga can't problem solve. He can't think on the fly. He can't. This going to show you how a motherfucker going to deal with life. This is like real shit. It's funny, but it ain't funny. I'm telling you. Okay. Most people find out after they already living with a bitch, mixed bills, got kids together, that this motherfucker is not very bright. Cause you ain't went out and you ain't did. Even a dumb motherfucker can fuck good. Sometimes. You ain't got to be smart, but you do not have to be intellectual or have no problem solving skills or no life skills to fuck good. This male or female. So in order to know if somebody actually got some sense, value, you got to go out and take them places, experience life. You can't just fuck. But Why, see, that's exactly what I'm saying. Y'all are y'all ignoring my point. If you fuck good, you gonna take these people to better places. He told your ass that. I'm saying it's just depending on. I right. think you just about to show up and do all the fun shit, escape rooms and shit, and you got to sit in the let, house. Let me, okay, so watch me, this movie type. So y'all been saying the same shit the whole he, time. He, he, listen, he, he, <laughs> he was really saying. That, I know you didn't go around, the block. around the block, but that nigga came right <laughs> back to the same you know, house. Man. You getting what you show up with? <laughs> well, I was trying to get that the whole time, but okay. yeah, yeah. yeah you, it may it makes sense. I'm telling he gonna he gonna let watch. I don't have shit. How we gonna see next this week shit he out? gonna be like, hey, what you mean? It ain't nothing to figure out. No, 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 I'm saying that's what she's saying. Cause you be with your girl and she be confused about shit. She should not be confused about Let, let me say this. Most most You know people... what? We're gonna listen. Fuck this shit. This ain't even debatable no more. We we eight dates. We're taking no, no, them on eight dates. No, no, no. Yep. After after two, even if it's if wrong, you, it's wrong. Though. Even if you already with her. It's take on eight listen, more dates. He, what he missing if the vibe right. On the first few dates, y'all probably gonna end up fucking anyway. So you gonna get the pussy along the way, but you will get to know her real character. See, this the thing. Want, see, that's, that's my thing. I want to have the pussy first, so I know what I was starting. <laughs> I want to know where we started at. I'm like, okay, that's how the pussy was. Do, do you this is my, this is my do, constant. Do, Everything do, else is a variable. Okay, what, what is going to hit like if I take on the boat? Oh my God. Do y'all understand that most? What it hit like after the steak and the shrimp. And I done got a little, you know what I'm saying? And then I just got sleepy. Okay, bet. I knew she shouldn't have ordered no tea. Okay, bet. Do y'all understand that most females, once you start having sex with them, it don't matter what you tell them, they want to be in a relationship. Oh. It don't matter what they be saying. They even, want, these, even these new ones? Even the new ones. But but they, are they doing relationship things? 
That, that depends on if you took them on eight dates to see what type of woman she is. Well, but you most of the eight dates, you know what the relationship. You doing all this shit outside. You don't know what she gonna do at home. You done did all this eight date shit. She might be a great dater. She done dated all these this niggas that she didn't dater. like. That's the thing. Women be dating a whole bunch Everywhere of motherfuckers. Everywhere you take you it, can't she take already shit already been and had more fun. What with better niggas? When we came before, we set up. We had bitch, all, shut up. That used to be our section over there. <laughs> I ain't never even been to this bitch before. I ain't even know it was up there. You should have got the gold package, but we can do this. This cool. That should this be cool. motivation. No, it ain't. That should be motivation. No, it's not. That means you got a bitch that done been around, been to a few nice nights. Now you got to take it to a nice place. No. Y'all done did everything with everybody. Right. The city boring now. I can't do nothing in here. Yeah, because you didn't fuck to everybody. Everybody what, know you. They, keep, they say listen, your name when you come what in. Well, keep fucking them up front, and you're going to keep experiencing mm -hmm. the same shit. We they cheating gonna wanna be in a relationship. out of some great experiences. Nigga can't even enjoy the shit because you already did it. <laughs> why, you ain't, why you ain't get the sweet? Bitch, what you know about the sweet? Yeah. Who you was up here with? Fuck. And they still got the rooftop bar? What rooftop bar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. You got to have a gold card to get up there. That should be motivation. Go get your gold card. Where her gold card at? <laughs> and now one of y'all got nothing. But listen, that's something you ain't Y'all Y'all show up with nothing but hookah tips. <laughs> <laughs> and then you should be inspired to be fucking with somebody like me. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> why? Because you drink a lot of Casamigos? That's, right. That's why you're supposed to take on the eight dates, because then you can get an idea yeah. of rather she why actually you take do. her on eight dates, she going to be done hug nine niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you still up here? <laughs> Come on, we don't have to pay. Greg going to let us in. No, the fuck he not. <laughs> you know you going in free. No, I ain't. I am not that nigga. Hey, I'm telling y'all eight dates. Whatever. She paying for Man three or of them. And she can pay. This don't mean the dude got to oh, pay. Oh, that's where you got it fucked up at. You, you ain't been outside in a minute. What? <laughs> Only 9% of women can pay for three dates in a row. Where, where, you got that, where you got that figure from? Man, you ain't seen the number since the pandemic hit. We sitting here talking about going on eight dates. Pussy is literally $3.99 a month. They already put the number on it. Three ninety nine. We not fucking doing all that that's, bad that's, shit. That's, cable that's not COVID. all it's gonna cost in the end. Man, it's a bazillion free pussies out here, bro. Don't listen to him. If that's, a motherfucker will rehab a crack house, well, you can find some pussies. That's in not that, that ain't all it's gonna cost. The money you think you pay up front, that's the down payment. On the, on the rest of the bullshit that's finna come along. You not finna- I just wanna run into the camera like a nigga selling the seminar. <laughs> Do you wanna have free pussy in your life? <laughs> Buy my book. My name is Carlos Miller and I was born in the 80s. <laughs> we used to get pussy just because people like my personality. <laughs> Don't subscribe to none of this shit. <laughs> Eight dates. Three books. $24.99. <laughs> Call right now, I'll cut the price in half. <laughs> Eight dates in therapy. <laughs> Stop paying for You pussy. right. You got a suit with question marks on. Remember that right. they used to sell that shit? <laughs> <laughs> gotta get free money from the government. <laughs> People used to tune into that shit. That's started the niggas no. can <laughs> So that's the, that's the key. Eight, eight dates. All right, Ben. Eight dates when you get no Fellas, you we know to I'm, I know. I can't speak for the fellas. I'm stepping my, stepping my dating game up. And I'm, I'm going for some shit that you only see on TV. I'm going to wake a bitch up at 6 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to drive two hours to Reynolds, Georgia, so she can watch some motherfuckers make orange juice from scratch. <laughs> Take a bitch bird watching. It's a date. Take a young lady that, but to listen, a hayride. He, he being funny, but that's going to that's gonna show you how she's going to start talking to you later on. No, that, yes, that's yes, how you Because if, if you take yeah. her to do some shit like that... A hayride? Listen, if you take her to do some shit that's outside of her element and she come at you like, why you brought me to do this stupid ass shit? What if you Yo, go... You, this how she going to talk to you when stuff get tight in the future. Stupid ass nigga. Then you going to be the same stupid ass nigga from the, uh, what you say, watch him make orange juice? Same shit. What if you, you fuck up? Go to a haunted house and y'all both get scared. What? <laughs> Being too adventurous. You were screaming just as much as she was. Listen, the eight days 
for females too. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah. we ain't even with him. If, if a nigga ever pull a gun yeah. on you and him, you know what he gonna do. The same thing he did in that honey house. Yeah. Man, hey. you fuck around and take her to the aquarium. The day one of them fish jump out that damn tank. Fish look at her like they recognize. Another one. <laughs> when you just here? You love the fish, huh? <laughs> oh boy, she decided that that wouldn't motivate you. No. If you a female that she done experienced like some higher level stuff in life, like she done already been that, to a lot of nice places. What's the logic behind that motivating? She don't. You you done got one that don't be. She don't be the nice one. I don't gonna be in the crib like I gotta be the best nigga shit before you. <laughs> So you want to be you want a bitch that ain't been nowhere. <laughs> exactly. Everything excited everywhere you take. Yeah. <laughs> This nigga's stupid. Women, that's the time y'all like need to learn how to lie. Even if you done been all no. up and through this wow. motherfucker, you gotta act like this shit is impressive. Wow, I've never been here. Hello, Lisa. <laughs> like, bitch, we at Winn Dixie. What's wrong with you? You seen some new? So y'all wanna be lied to? Exactly. Y'all be y'all be bringing up niggas we don't need to know nothing about. Nah, nigga can't even listen to his favorite rapper around you. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened? Uh-uh, <laughs> turn that off. I don't want to hear that. What? Why not? That's that sensitive we shit. We used to talk about that. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the only shit I listen to? Oh, that's bad. A new motherfucker to listen to. Oh, you ain't shit. Say what? Oh my God. They, they, you should take her, took her to one of his concerts, then you would have seen her. <laughs> Hell no, because when she go backstage, you'd be like, I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> <laughs> she back there with all the niggas. Eight she, days teach you about a nigga too, though. You about to pick her up for the show. She already had the show. <laughs> She came in the Sprinter van. That's a lot of dates. <laughs> with the, she came in the Sprinter van with the artist. That's a lot of dates, that nigga. That that's eight a... weekends. That's community that service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all believe you might be on to something, though. You fucking, what if you trying to go on eight dates with her, fuck around to find out she ain't even got eight outfits? <laughs> really? We back to the blue dress? <laughs> you get to the eighth day and she like, I think tonight is the night. You be like, well, I don't think so, because you done had that bra on at all eight of these dates. <laughs> Next day, the bra shop. <laughs> Not tonight. It won't be tonight. I'm nope. telling you, so eight dates is important. Bruh, you take her on eight dates and she wear the same shoes. On oh, all the dates. You gonna say something? Them dirty ass Air Force One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. All of this is relevant. Oh, you see oh. her in eight different units of oh, time? On the third date, what you say? Let's go to the outlet mall. <laughs> what do you say? Like, what, let's just see if we can get you some new shoes. Like, at that point, do you even know your size? Because now that's this you asking for help. That's a, that's a great date idea. No, we just talking I'll shit, man. These are all hypothetical situations. You don't want to see my nigga buy when it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Eight dates. Eight dates, so. In therapy. Go to therapy. We need to normalize therapy, too. Before something happens, just go to therapy. Everybody got issues from They going to ask you what's wrong when you get there. No, they going to they gonna make you talk about your childhood. In front of this strange ass person. <laughs> what <Whatever. laughs> it's gonna it's gonna tell you shit about what you got going on today. Right. This is gonna be I I want I wanna know how it works for comedians. Cause I what think if it's everybody gonna be hard for us. Oh, go ahead. It's gonna be hard, bro. How we just gonna just say what happened? We gonna put our twist on it. Okay, check this out. What if everybody don't need to go to, this is just my theory. What if everybody don't need to go? What the if people some people, do need to, what if some people had a normal okay. ass childhood and they, they good? <laughs> Did nobody do childhood right? Everybody from childhood was fucked up? No, yeah. No, if they, everybody yeah. had life experiences that they, they weren't able to process correctly. Stuff just don't went on. It ain't gotta be that you went through a bunch of bad trauma and shit, but... Everybody's childhood was fucked up to them the way it was fucked up. 
you don't start realizing until you get out of the you real older, world. Yes. You like, oh, what I thought was fucked up, it fucked with me, I was down by it or whatever, was nothing compared to what some other people might have to go through or what this was or, he you know, preaching. so shit hit, hit you I was just about different. to say, but this the bag? It's your shit. Come this on, This where man. you at in it. Come on, man. Up to the fucking on, shoulder. Man. Yeah. He said some rare shit though. You gotta think. If you just if you just name some different type of people in different childhoods, all of them gonna describe some stuff from their childhood or something in their adolescent years that they felt like wasn't right. You're right, but everybody have to go to therapy. Everybody should go. So everybody, all right. When I say therapy, though, I mean some sort of confidential source that you can vent to that's not gonna speak back to you from a place of their traumas. Sometimes it's the page. Write that shit down. You know what I'm saying? You tell your goddamn story. I went to therapy already. I went to anger management. You had to go? <laughs> yeah, it was went? part of probation. Well, that, you didn't go by what? How long was it? Eight days? Eight, about two weeks or something. Oh, okay. That's about 10 days. 10 days. Two days short of eight. I had to keep the little paper and make them sign it every time I went. <laughs> what they told you? What was wrong with you? Why you had to go to anger management, first of all? It was just part of the shit. <laughs> was you angry? Yeah. That I had to go. <laughs> what did you say? No, it wasn't like about one of them things, what you say is like you had to go through this workbook type situation. So you pay the money for the class and then they give you like this workbook. It was just, a, it was good money. It was kind of like an intervention type. And the people tried to teach you how to manage your emotions. If he had to go to anger management, he went because he couldn't control or manage his emotions. No, it wasn't. No, it and was I just... want to know the situation. He, 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 you see, he deflected. No, I'm not deflecting. Well, so tell him why it was part of the probation where you, I had to do all this community service and shit. So part of the community service shit, any nigga who ever had to do it, they give you this long ass paper. You can't really, you can rarely do the shit all in one place. So you have to go to all these fucking different places and do this community service. So I went to this one class, which was like an anger management type intervention specialist. Okay. You get what it I'm was saying? One of the things on so the list. I was, it was kind of like a round robin of community credits. It wasn't like I beat somebody up and they was like, you gotta go to anger management. It was just that you type of shit. You chose the one that wasn't, you gotta clean Where you can get the, the most. Folks yeah, you can, some of them you can go and get like double the credit. This was, I don't know the system now, but. I don't know. Whatever. I'm good now, though. This motherfucker. You learned something from anger management? Yeah. What you learned? That most anger is rooted in poverty. That's true. That's it. Poverty. Poverty. Sparks out. Poverty is the source of most of our trauma. It ain't the individual events. It's the fucking poverty. And Cry poor is a mindset. when you ain't got it. Exactly. Poor is definitely a mindset. It's more than just being monetarily poor. Shit, that say sound good, but poor is a place. I seen it. <laughs> poor is a feeling. I felt it. Stay poor black. is a thought. I that's have a, thought it. It's a mindset. Shit. That you shit poor. Is, that's all that's on your mind. That shit is a mindset. <laughs> shit, that's the only mindset you got. That's all the fuck you, you, you know. Shit. You be poor long enough. You think you like that shit. As soon as you get some money, you start liking shit you never knew you liked. <laughs> I just wish all hood niggas could experience those cookies from the Delta flight. I know them bitches would have jumped at the candy lady had they known. What was it, Biscoff? Yeah. You know how I many hood niggas never had a Biscoff? Biscoff is a cookie. <laughs> Biscoff, if y'all want to do an urban marketing campaign, get with me. He gonna have all the niggas going to try them. Man, <laughs> tell hey, y'all ain't got no more bitch offs. How about give me that and then like three of them bitch offs. Yeah, I'm good. Them Florida niggas gonna start eating them bitches. They gonna hit them the dick low. Them, them cookies, they baby, you heard me? Hey. Them cookies. I fuck with them cookies. <laughs> Go to therapy. Eight dates. <clears throat> so you just came here to tell me basically I'm just living all wrong. Therapy. Date longer. <clears throat> and boundaries. The, I don't have the date longer. What, you got boundaries? I figured this shit out already. You got boundaries? Yeah. I got a whole lot of boundaries. Yeah. Ain't nobody about to talk to me crazy. 
And that's it. That's basically where it started. <laughs> you get that one right, everything else falls in line. You got boundaries? Hell yeah. Yeah. When, when y'all when y'all establish boundaries? We on top. Look, this, or, this most, is... Most people from the hood and people who poor, don't, they weren't taught boundaries. Yeah, like, especially I... if you grow up in a house with a bunch of siblings, there's no ba- people go on people's plate. I wear your shoes. If you my old brother, they fit. Have a side. Like, there's no boundaries. So this is stuff that, like, at some point it had to click for y'all where I got to have, you know, lines in the sand that I don't yeah, allow people to Yeah, first day I went outside. <laughs> I'm letting nobody play with you. You got to bring everything back in the house that you took outside with you. Ain't nobody finna take nothing from you. That's what your mama told you? Shit, yeah. yeah they, them the rules. Yeah, they fuck with you, pick up a brick. Hey. And where are all these bricks, mama? Where and, and do you y'all, think it's just And y'all bricks? don't think y'all need therapy? You hear what you saying? No, because without that shit, we would have never been successful in anything. We it's not, it's the not the true. actual actions that they was trying to instill in us. It was, like you said, the mindset. Because anybody who ever been through some shit like that know that people play with you how they think they can play with you. Right. They gonna try to manipulate what they think is, is you know. But you get your jumped, weakness. fuck one of them motherfuckers all That's the way. That's cool up. when you a kid, but when you a, an adult, things have to be processed differently. But you I'm get, saying that, this one. This one I'm telling y'all. This, you can approach it with the same mindset as long as you're not using it for the same context. You can't. You can, if you was out, say for instance, the same way I said the, when I went outside, my mama said, "Don't let nobody play with you. Ain't nobody gonna take nothing from you." Blah, say blah. Okay. Ain't don't let nobody play in your face. You can take that same mindset and go and do a presentation and rock that shit. Kill the whole anxiety, the whole nerves, and everything. Ain't nobody finna play with me. You, I'm finna go in here. You I need can't this. take that same. That, okay, so look, what he described is his mom giving him a conflict resolution strategy. You cannot use that as an adult. That's a, a kid. If somebody has to get to a point where they tell you, okay, a lot of those strategies that you literally used when you was a kid, you can't. When you younger, somebody try to take a toy from you or take that same stuff, his mama saying don't let nobody take his stuff, he can whoop their ass. And it'll turn out way different than if you grown and somebody try to take something and you whoop their It can turn into a whole, you can't literally apply. That's what I said, not the same context but the same mind state. Explain. I'm not saying, like, as a child, you're going to, like you say, as a child, you do take the action and put your hands on somebody. But by the time you're an yeah, adult and you use the yeah, same yeah. logic, you but know that there's a consequence. But most people, that don't drop off. They right now. It's my mama said, hit you back, you hit me, I hit you. And, and then the now they both in jail. You can't. You can't, word, you can't assume that everybody got the same level of intelligence. No, I'm, I'm telling y'all the majority of what's going I can say this with confidence. Like when you get into, when we speaking on just poverty, a lot of the urban community, they literally carrying around as adults the same lines they mama told them when they was young. This is why you see so many people in jail, in, in, in spaces where they got to go to anger management because they took it literal. You know, some people got to go. They got to learn that way. I don't want to come. I look, I'm this is how to say everybody. With Carlos I'm speaking for niggas who uh, are, you know, <laughs> niggas, <laughs> quote, unquote, <laughs> nigga normal. You feel me? Some people do need to go to therapy. They done had some terrible, tragic type of shit. And some people need to go just because they need to learn how to express themselves and they have things on their mind and they got trust issues or whatever. Whatever the case may be, there is no definite answer for that but some people not going some people just gonna be fucked up it's and some be, people that ain't gonna go they go, like, yeah you just regular. okay let me ask y'all this y'all i'm not saying that i am i'm just saying I'm, some people just for a lot of people that don't have a therapeutic a therapeutic source somebody that's confidential they use the internet now right and so some people use this show ain't that crazy <laughs> this is therapy for some people i am a therapist therapeutics ladies rub your titties if you love hip-hop <laughs> This the shit that they want to see me say. <laughs> and I'm not knocking therapy. Therapy is great. No, therapy it, good. It depends. Hey, man, there's so many different forms of therapy. It's, it's, ther- it's, it's therapy just taking care of yourself. Sometimes cleaning your ass and getting your shit together. Literally. And they're going to teach you meditation. They're going to teach you to quiet your thoughts and meditation. But smoking marijuana, that's a form of meditation. That's why I be high. Listening Love. to music, it's a... <laughs> Look, I be high. So now you, now you, 
And now you can go to therapy. No, I, that's my therapy. It, learned, it showed me how to separate my thoughts from my emotions. Yeah. <laughs> I give the best apologies when I'm high. Right. It's, it's therapy. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a form of meditation. For people to actually, some people, I'm telling you, they can't separate what they feel from what's real. This is why a lot of people, they'll only be able to work certain type of jobs all their life. You got to think about this. Me? Pilots that fly That's planes, do. people that manage large amounts of money at investment firms, anybody that have higher level positions in life, they have to be able to manage their emotions and separate what they feel from what's real. You, This is why most of those jobs, they have to go to quarterly therapy. They got to go get evaluated every so often to make sure you is operating in the right space. Otherwise, you can't do this type of work. And the only people that can go around and just fuck therapy, I don't need shit, I'm going to just do how I feel, how I want to feel, take them same philosophies from childhood, people with low-paying jobs. Because you ain't really got to think, you ain't got to do nothing, anybody depending on you, don't nobody life depend on it. You can't be no brain surgeon going to work and yo, you, you mad at your bitch. You ain't operating on a nigga brain. <laughs> you think brain you surgeon? Man. You think brain <laughs> surgeon? Bitch, God damn, me. All right. So the bitch gonna tell me. Hey, hey, you hey, got life to hey, hey, Give me the, give me this plenty of brain surgeons like, bitch, I ain't got time for this shit right you now. It's a motherfucking lie. I ain't got time for this goof ass shit. <laughs> it's a motherfucking entertainment. Get my phone, bro. Get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you think that ain't happening? Listen, you Come go, on, listen, man. if you don't take therapy, separating and management, managing your emotions from real life, you ain't gonna get no successful positions in life and shit like that. You wouldn't, you can't be an important person if you can't do that. Even you think about people who do public speaking in them big seminars, people like Grant Cardone and stuff like that. You can't be up there mad at your bitch talk. These people done paid three hundred dollars. Man, them motherfuckers the take Xanax before they go up there. I'm whatever not the really fuck they, whatever don't the they gotta do, you cannot be up there. them took a whole thirty, a part thirty. <laughs> if you want money, all you have to do is manifest it. <laughs> I remember when I made my first million dollars. My my, my father-in-law gave me the money, and I and I started investing money, and I, and I started selling calendars, and then my calendars make twenty-seven million dollars because I'm white, and then white people can do anything in America. <laughs> don't buy this seminar if you're not white. I only want to sell this to white people because it works. For yeah, when you're white. white. If you're in Everybody America, finna report a listen, fraudulent mm. charge on car. if you're a regular <laughs> white person in America, with. you Everybody. can tell everybody else how to make money. That's exactly what happened to me. I took advantage of all the racism and white privilege, and now I'm selling you shit that'll never happen. <laughs> Go to my website, and I'm gonna charge you $60 to see you to my other website. That's right, rich dad, poor dad. The Man, whole point of that book was so you don't fuck women who already have children. That's how you get rich in America if you're white. Make your own kids. Stop man. recycling these the rich This nigga is stupid. stupid. Whatever, man. Y'all don't want to hear this shit I be talking. It's because I'm black. When you start tapping into that, though, you learn about like generational wealth. You learn about multiple streams of income. Well, they you eliminated start. us off the top. We black. Ain't no generational yes, wealth. We've we we been you generational. Fucked you created. We've you been fucked you up. Listen, I'm not a push on me. Not it's it's been 20 generations <laughs> of you motherfuckers, and now I gotta save the family. Now that you got a kid. What you niggas been doing? <laughs> ain't nobody else had no breakthrough. Why don't you me. sell? Ain't nobody in this family ever had seven thousand dollars. Why you sell the store? Man, fuck this family. Why? Y'all niggas so grandma, grandma, grandma. Now that you got a kid, generational wealth. <laughs> And when you start listening to the, the different people, even once he talking about with white privilege, you start to get an understanding for what matter, things like credit, because you can leverage it to put your, yourself and your family in a better position. Like, we, you know, we don't have these conversations. Even like a lot of white people, by the time they was 19, 20, they already had a perfect credit score, but that's because their parents added them on their credit score, paid their credit card on their, on their credit report, on their card as an authorized user, paid their shit on time. By the time you get 19, 20, now your score is already good. That's how you get your jump start. Generational wealth, understanding the only way you can see money is to create multiple streams and, of course, live off of less than one or one of them. Now there's going to be a thousand white people in the comments. That's bullshit. I work for everything I have. <laughs> you, you fucking blacks always think somebody gave us something, man. I went to college. I studied my ass off. I went to Iowa University State <laughs> Tech College, got my degree as a nail tech, learned how to draw blood and became a phlebotomist. Now I'm a surgeon, bro. Nobody gave me shit. If you want something in America, grab yourself by your dick hairs and pull yourself up. 
<laughs> Grab your pews. <laughs> Listen to us. I don't know who this up. chick is. She's kind of hot, but she's fucking crazy if she thinks that's how America works, man. <laughs> Listen here, I'm telling you, man, y'all got to tap what, in. What Martin Luther King say, it's very insulting to tell a man to pull himself up by his bootstrap and he doesn't have any boots. But you know what's even crazy? <laughs> he said that one. That was cold. But you can't. Give me my pizza. You can't pull yourself up by your bootstrap. If you don't have no fucking boots. No, 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 period. If you had bootstraps, <laughs> this nigga, I told you. How would you that, grab the back? You, you too. Nigga, well. you're flying. <laughs> nigga, you can float. You are a magical Negro. If you can grab the, your bootstraps and pull yourself up, nigga. <laughs> That, but they, listen, you taking it that's, too little. But no, but that's Bro, what we got they mean. That's shit. what it used to mean. It used to mean something impossible to do. They repurposed this shit to use on us, like, do some impossible shit, nigga. Like, and make it seem like, hey, if you just work hard, you it's can simple. do this shit. You ain't never pull yourself up by your bootstraps because nobody can pull themselves up by the bootstraps. It's impossible. If you could, you can fly. That's why that's my partner right there. This is why you got to tap into multiple streams of income, understanding credit, generational wealth, management of emotions, eight dates where you dating people so you don't have boundaries, so that you're not, you know, it's so many people that they are victims. Like their mindset is that someone is always doing something to them. Mm -hmm. Everything is somebody else's fault or just life is happening to me. But you know what's happening to you now is basically the, the results of your decisions one to three years ago. So of course, this type of mindset, it has to be developed in order to like come up out of shit. Literally, and this is the stuff that we ain't talking about. This nigga having an epiphany. No, your voice be common and shit. <laughs> Keep going. Say some more shit. <laughs> Go to therapy. Get an understanding for credit. And listen, for y'all urban people, stop naming all these active streams of income as if these are multiple streams of income. Y'all be talking about, I do hair, I do nails, I'm, I'm an esthetician, I cut grass. All this stuff requires your time. It's only a certain amount of time in a day. Multiple streams of income is based on active versus passive, meaning you want streams of income coming in where you don't have to trade your time for money. You want the money to flow in, things like books, stuff that you've already created a, a, a piece of work and people can rent it from you or buy it after your time has already been put into it. Really? But all this 19 different LLCs Brother. and all of them require you to show up, that's not multiple streams of income and you not winning, nigga. Mm-hmm. Real shit. That ain't even no stream. They got a koi pond. You with the little fish, nigga. You gotta spend so much time. Like, that makes sense, because time is money once you get, especially. Active income well, is where you go straight, get. trade your time for money. And if you only got so much time in a day, just because you get a bunch of different hats, if they all require your time, you always gonna cap out. Yeah. A bunch of different hats. You always gonna cap out. That's the weed. <laughs> that's that's a fucking store slogan. Welcome to Liz. A bunch of different hats. You always gonna cap out. <laughs> and then nigga pull the shit on his head and walk out the door. We need to pitch that to Liz. Liz, fuck with us, man. <laughs> we start a no cap campaign. No cap. No cap. No cap cap. What kind of weed is y'all smoking? It's called Eight Dates. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go out with the weed eight times oh before you Where you from? I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. Shout them out. Shout out to St. Petersburg, Florida, Pete. Pine County. Y'all know Tampa Bay area. You, sound, you can rap. You sound like it. What yeah. kind of rap you do? That nigga said, what kind of rap? I'm saying, like, you got to ask, what, what you mean? What kind of, na name the different types of rap. It's, it's gangster lot, rap, though. gospel rap, know. Christian rap. You think I do gospel rap? You good. Ain't nothing wrong with the Christian rap. I ain't saying nothing was wrong with it. I said, you think I do Christian rap? God said, come as you are. <laughs> Dang what the church folks said. You from Florida, too? You got tats on your neck? They know it to be hard. <laughs> if you ain't no pussy ass nigga, you Lord God, stand up, you heard me? 
I want everybody to walk to the front. I've got the chopper for the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the don't ask side. <laughs> My granny and them crying. <laughs> I'm about to get baptized. <laughs> Whatever. Name the other types of rap. What else? Uh, what's the oh. alternative? alternative. Well, what's alternative rap? Emo. How it go? The niggas be singing sad. You know how they be singing sad? Like Juice World. Oh, okay. I wasn't, but okay, yeah. That, that's what that's called? That one song. Yeah. But he be, yeah. All that shit rap. And then you got like that silly ass rap, like party music. Silly ass rap. A silly ass rap. It was what? It was a silly ass rap. That's silly <laughs> shit. <laughs> you what? Oh, That's boy. silly shit. You <laughs> what? Get silly. Get silly. Literally. You remember that shit? <laughs> the dance flow silly. <laughs> I was in court with that nigga, man. Uh, we had tickets oh, together. Oh, this rap. Oh, rap is rap. It's a lot of different genres, though. I don't know if you fuck with this thing, because that shit busting. <laughs> I had to eat it. I don't eat bread. I do. I, we see. They know I fuck with it. This shit has started when I used to work at Domino's, and now I just had to eat this shit like once a week. I don't know how long that's gonna last. No Can bread. I sue them if I'm addicted to this shit? No rice. It might be. Yeah, no noodles. Uh, you gotta show some like side effects. Why is you eating a piece? Of, you're the first nigga I ever seen eat a piece. Eat pizza upside down. Why you got to turn it over? <laughs> what is, is it crazy. about the back? I tried to tell you I was a different nigga. But what, every piece you done ate, it's been from the opposite side. It did look like I'm a living. pop tart when I first looked at it. I was about what to say, nigga, know? what the fuck do Domino's got going on, nigga? They put some pop tarts you, in there with You need to stop pizza? eating pork. Why? Because it's not good for you. No, this shit ain't good for you. No, Pepperoni. it's not good for you either. No, it's not good for you. Pepperoni beef. No, it ain't. It's pork. With some beef. Juice. And <laughs> pepperoni, pepperoni is healthy because it comes from the elbows. It's, it's got roni in it. It's macaroni, basically. You don't even know what's in it. Peppered macaroni. I can't stand it. What are you trying to tell me? Hey, man, Bobby Brown made something. You a special kind of roni. Make a daddy feel proud. Why do you think Rony. pork not good for me? Pork is not good for you. Look, look. It might not be good for you. It's not good for That's you. That's what I'm saying. Why do you think everybody got to do the same shit? No, Eric, listen. Let me tell y'all this, though, about Look, diet. our experience on this earth is going to be different. It You're is. You're going to not eat pork. Eat. It is, but... So check this out. If I, if we all stopped, what's the point? So everybody could be healthier. How the fuck would we know if don't nobody eat it? Listen, we already know enough from the generational curses that we already seen. What if motherfuckers still be living the same motherfucker? Like, I told y'all niggas to eat this shit. I'm there too. <laughs> I've been eating this shit by myself for the longest. I'm still here with y'all. I don't understand. Why y'all keep trying to prolong life? You ready to go? Stupid. <laughs> you ready to go? No, I think I'm ready to go. I'm just like, nigga, you going? You ready to go? Well, you ready or not, nigga, you going? I'm gonna be full when I go. You trying to go sooner? I'm gonna be full when I go. I can't stand him. You gonna get to heaven, Jesus? You gonna be like, why you ain't eating I'm good. I ate before I came. Hell yeah. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. What y'all got? Oh, we got some pork and pepperoni and shit in the back. <laughs> You know all the pigs that died go to heaven. It's not healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy. Uh, you sure? That's start, it. start with per pork first. Eliminate pork. Then work your way. Mm -mm. So what you eat? What meats? Seafood. Just seafood? Just seafood. I'm on my way to being a vegan. <laughs> so you eat fish and, and, and shellfish? <laughs> But you know a lot for black people. She kill more people than poor. What you mostly eat? So how? What's your What's your meal plan? So when I eat, it's just like this shit. It's a vegetable and a and a protein. Oh, and you I talking eat about fish? Are you talking about fish like fish? Or are you talking about like tuna? No, like fish, like salmon, mm. sea bass, like fish. That shit ain't even healthy. For a lot of for it is. Sea bass is good in the motherfucker. It's healthy. It's gonna run a little bit. 
It's good. Tastes like you swam in some butter. I don't it's know good, where but they it ain't get healthy. The sea bass. From, it's healthy. Nigga. I'm telling you, they it's healthy. They get that shit from the melted um, butter. Listen, factory, mo most of us at that shit just swam through <laughs> movie theater butter. God damn, that shit is. Most of us as urban people, we buttery. we get our diet from you know our parents. They get it from their grandparents. It go all the way back to when we were slaves, and we was just given scraps and parts of animals. This what make up like a lot of our diet. Who the fuck is we? Y'all think we all the same? I mean, no, if I eat seafood all the time, like, I would. Y'all not about to trick me into this slave shit. <laughs> all of us wasn't no goddamn slaves, man. Stop what, what's your that favorite shit. foods? Oh, shit, what I eat? There, anybody in this room would tell you, I don't eat but fucking four things, so. What you eat? <laughs> what, you, what you eat? I literally eat about four or five what things. What is it? You just, I ain't telling you so you can judge me. You need to stop eating that. Then it'll be two <laughs> by the time you leave. Man. Come here trying to change my life. I'm older than you, leave me alone. That's why you need to change your name. No, the fuck I don't. How you gonna tell me and I have already outlived you? <laughs> you ain't outlived me, you just was born before me. That's the same fucking That's thing. That's not the same thing. Okay. Now, we was born the same time and I died before you did. You outlived me, but you you were just no, born before I me. No, I mean, so I had a life and I was already living before you were even conceived. I'm, uh, I'm light years ahead of you. I done forgot some shit that you ain't even learned yet. Now, this nigga sound like my daddy. That shit do be true. You got, that shit we forgot be important than the motherfucker. And like, you ain't even damn. know it yet. I wish I knew that shit I didn't know no more. We ain't important. Trust me, I've been off the porch. The poor game was killing motherfuckers. That ain't even it. What well, was the same lies? It make niggas sleepy. Yeah, it ain't the pork. It's niggas the Johnson and Johnson. Sleep instead of going we, got, we as black people got to stop using so much fucking baby powder. That's what's killing everybody. Don't you nobody want to talk shit. about that. Yo, mama used to put that powder Ain't the right goddamn in bacon. It's the Johnson and Johnson <laughs> baby powder. That shit giving everybody cancer everywhere. Use they just the baby paid. powder with the tuxedo man on it. Don't use no baby <laughs> powder. That shit ain't good for us. Something about the chemistry in black people. Yeah, I, I bet stop having them hit me with that. Exactly. See, when I was a little kid, I remember that. But, Putting the pot on your neck? Yeah, <laughs> don't do that no more. I remember my dad said that. Nigga, bumped up like a motherfucker was itching this shit. <laughs> this nigga dead serious. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all don't want to hear the shit that's really taking us out. It ain't the food. It ain't the goddamn it ain't, food. It ain't the pork. No. It's, it's, it ain't the beef. It's some of the food. It's it ain't the fact the... that we cook all the uh, nutrients out the vegetables. That's, Ooh, that's what I was going to say. We ain't got all the vegetables. The vegetables ain't even got Man, all the vegetables. Man, y'all are using the wrong terminology. Yeah. Now y'all going to have these vegetable cooking ass niggas all in the comments. <laughs> I cook my shit at 115. Nobody gives a fuck. I'll have you know my carrot tastes like me. Man, meat. eat your grass and shut the fuck up. So listen, as you get older, you have no concern about your diet. My I diet? About my your diet. diet. Yes. I'm, being, I'm being serious. Listen, the older I get, the more I eat what the fuck I want to. <laughs> you know how I many niggas I done seen out here living right and they, this is the same thing. I don't think I eat enough to eat bad. Like, especially now. Like, I got a baby now and that shit is... I can't eat some shit because he sleep, like, he sleep wherever the fuck he sleep. I can't turn the air fryer on. Like, I can't have no beeping with the microwave. I done tried it. Like, it's either I'm, I'm, I'm a let him sleep or I'm gonna eat. So, that's been my goddamn diet. So I can have a little pepperoni. Oh, you, you had to bring it back around to the port. <laughs> right, she act like I got a barrel of pepperoni over here. <laughs> Man. No, but as, as people get older, we should care about our diet. Because the idea is, you know, everybody going to die, but you don't want to end up, like, in those fucked up positions health-wise as you get older. It's, it's, listen, we can joke all we want, but when you get older and you hurting, you in pain, you fucked up, you can't walk, your knees, they talking about you got gout, high blood pressure, diabetes, that shit worse than a nigga that's just old. But guess what? You was born with that shit. Ain't got shit to do with what you eat or drink or none of that. You gonna have that shit anyway. That's why when you have a baby now, you can look at the whole damn DNA. You can create, create a baby. You want blue eyes, long legs. They, all that shit is already in you when you get here. No, it's generational curses. It's because we repeat the same eating patterns as the people before us. That's why we end up with the same shit they got. And we, okay, I say this. We eating the shit wrong. We eating the shit wrong. We you can't, wrong shit you can't eat no big country breakfast if you ain't had no big country morning. 
Like, like, he, listen, like, he, like, he got them fingers like, though. He telling the truth. Like, because I'm telling the you, he big the country truth. breakfast, right? So you, you was in the country. You was on the farm. Your he ass already truth. had to be up. You was up at three. And you're gonna work those cars working. Off. And you all working, you working, you working. So the amount of so, cars you consume. So the big country breakfast is really no motherfucking dinner there. This nigga's a genius. You gotta get all that shit back up in this you. This nigga's a genius. After eating it, but we I would sit like up there as a person from hold the on, country. Hold on. You appeal to that shit, because if you're a country person, you're supposed to have a big country birth. No, that's but what, what I'm saying, saying, saying is we're that's because that you now. have it because that's how you he have it. He's saying have it. Exactly. But, so if but you no, stop no, no, listen, eating listen. shit, you're going to die. No, no, no. Listen, what I'm <laughs> saying is... DNA. Your granddad ain't that shit. His granddad no, ain't no, that no, shit. No, 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 no. You didn't do the work. You ain't did none of the work. You ate a big country you breakfast. You was a city nigga eating a country breakfast. And played PlayStation. <laughs> you finna die, my nigga. You did ate a big country breakfast and they ain't get out the house. At all. Nigga, you yelling, ordered a yelling big country on the game breakfast. all day. Ooh. Nigga. Big country breakfast. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm just saying the fuck it. Up. I'm not about to sit here and try to reach out to these motherfuckers. If that's what they want to do, fuck it. I'm just That's where I'm at in life. I'm 38. If you want to fucking saying. keep doing that shit, do it. It ain't no we. <laughs> we can't save a mass amount of y'all. Fuck it. Some of you niggas going to do right, and some of you niggas is not. I don't give a shit either way. <laughs> Basically, is what I'm saying. Each of, some people going to eat pork and all that shit, and they going to live just as long as the rest of them motherfuckers. Some of them Except people. The exactly. Some of them motherfuckers gonna be vegan for two years, and next thing you know, they're gonna be asking for a piece of your pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a fucking trend now. <laughs> Stop telling people you vegan. Nobody gives a shit. Y'all just love to keep announcing that shit. You know I'm vegan, right? You know I don't eat that. Like, don't give that's, a shit. that's how I'm finna be. Nobody asks you. Everything I stopped eating is what started hurt. <laughs> hey, 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 you need to quit eating that shit. What? Because I, I need ribs. Shut up. Two of my ribs broke. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had your ribs. <laughs> Pay attention to your diet. You right. Don't listen to Lowe's. You right. Have you a salad. Food. Hey man, I remember when niggas used to think sandwiches was healthy. <laughs> remember? We thought sandwich was gonna be the healthy shit, but I put lettuce on it. Hey, <laughs> Nigga sandwiches. <laughs> this nigga sound like a Subway ad. Motherfucker love them Miami sandwiches, sub, bro. So they ain't never stop eating sandwiches. They start just taking shit off their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's not the ingredients? It's the construction <laughs> of a sandwich. Take one of the pieces of bread off. <laughs> Anything you eat in sandwich form is automatically unhealthy, nigga. We was eating healthy at the house. Fuck around and sandwiches. find out them sandwiches that's on the lettuce is worse than the bread. <laughs> You know, they got them burgers that they put on two pieces of lettuce. Oh, <laughs> Find out that shit is saying. The lettuce is what's killing niggas. <laughs> the lettuce absorbs the grease and actually it actually That's the worse than eating french fries. <laughs> These motherfuckers say you're only supposed to eat three french fries. I'm through listening to these motherfuckers, you know man. Fries I ate last night. You just, you just don't want to do the, mi the mental work. The you don't want to be disciplined. Talk to them, okay. These are the same people who told us. You don't want to get disciplined with your diet. The Flintstone vitamins was going to keep us from breaking our bones. These are the same <laughs> people. <laughs> Flintstone kids. 10 million <laughs> strong <laughs> and growing. Well, what happened to the rest of the kids? Man. I'm sure there's more than 10 million kids. You know how many black kids wasted a birthday <laughs> gift on them goddamn vitamins? Well, you know your mom wasn't finna just Go get no vitamin. Nigga, I used to eat them bitches like sweet tarts, nigga. Nigga, they were sweet tarts. Now that nigga. you know, you grown enough to be good. <laughs> Same people who made your favorite candies was making them Flintstone Ten vitamins. Ten million strong. They'll love it. When you ever drove past a Flintstone vitamin factory? Never. Where they keep those at? Never. <laughs> Right. They, they, they got the nerve to put a real warning label on them motherfuckers. Do not consume more than two. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't nothing but vitamin C. I eat half of them before I 15 the milligrams of vitamin C and some Dabatap purple on See, it. See, ain't talking about the stuff on commercials, oh though. I'm God. talking about going and seeking the knowledge for yourself about the food you eat. The knowledge I'll is a lie. lie. You, you alkaline up. All that knowledge is oh, a lie. Okay, so um, let me let me just say this. I this bought them books. That this... shit ain't even printed straight. <laughs> it's a lie. Let me listen. Let me say this. Goddamn lie. Explain, explain why. Explain. <laughs> just. <laughs> He got the books on the table. This shit pretty, pretty, man. He got the books on the table. 
<laughs> Listen, white. no, explain. Not, not reasons. Nigga shouldn't eat pork. Nigga, print this shit straight. Explain. <laughs> Most of the book is have off the page. Well, listen, explain why. <laughs> explain why when you grow food yourself, it go bad in a week, maybe two weeks tops. But if you buy it in canned good form, it can last for years. Down I'm about there. to tell you why. Why? Because your ass don't know how to farm. You done pulled so that you, shit out the so, ground too early. It ain't even good to eat. So Nigga ate a big country so breakfast and done it all y'all out here farming <laughs> shit you want to so, eat straight off day farm. So you, you no, what I'm saying is, so you telling me the stuff in the can is real food that yes. can last that long? Nigga, they have a scientist that come out there every morning and touch that shit and be like, mm, progress on Scotty. This is gonna be delicious. Yeah. Preservatives. Thank you. Chemicals that they put in the food. That shit is delicious. <laughs> Why you don't never mention that part? I don't want canned no food ain't good. No that's what I'm, listen, he don't see where I'm going with this. You like canned food? I literally teach What canned vegetable you like for real, bro? Nothing. Okay, Nothing. Yeah, I don't okay. fuck with vegetables. You don't eat vegetables. I don't fuck with vegetables. You don't even believe in vegetables. I don't believe in How you got a vegetable bean? Fuck your size, baby. I'm a miracle. You, that's you don't eat no I don't believe no. in vegetables. <laughs> Not ask anybody bean. in this room. Hell no. What do you eat? Don't make me say that. What, what you eat, y'all? You know you First eat of all, I drink a lot of liquor. <laughs> <laughs> what do you eat? Look, man, if you want me to write down the list of shit that'll keep you looking young and healthy, I will, but I'm telling you, all that shit is fake. What do you eat? How do you? What do you eat? Food. What do you eat? It ain't but like five things you need to okay, be eating. Okay, pizza, anyway. what else? Outside. That's an exception. That ain't even in my normal diet. Okay, well, what the, what the shit is that you eat? Damn. What? It's bothering you? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I got the secret, You're about to be a vegan. Go ahead. You're doing it no, wrong. That's not it. It ain't it. That, that it's is not it. the vegetables. All them vegetables, that that, they it. selling out his face. You I see, he couldn't that. explain that canned good shit. I don't have to. What vegetable fake? All of them, all of them fake. The good ones. They're not fake. All of them. Plants are not fake. Okay. Vegetables are plants. So I'm you telling, telling me trees I'm not and, saying and that flowers vegetables and shit is fake. Aren't fake. I'm not telling you that. What I'm you just saying? letting you know. The vegetables GMO, that you genetically have modified, modified are not real that's vegetables. That's what you're saying, genetically yeah, so modified. Yeah, so he's saying what I'm saying. Okay. Exactly. So all that Y'all be saying the same so, so thing. Should watch, so they should watch their diet. No, watch this. So if you so say, they should watch their if diet. you can agree that all the vegetables are fake, why the fuck would you switch your diet to eat all I fake food? I didn't agree that all the vegetables was fake. The vegetables in the cans and the vegetables ha that have GMO, you know, all kind of shit being sprayed on them. Scientists, you know, genetically modifying them bitches to be able to last longer so that companies can make more money. Yes, this is why you're supposed to watch what you eat, eat organic, try to grow your own food. All of this stuff is relevant. It's a part That's of watching your diet. You. There is no such thing as organic shit. All of that shit is, they gotta come from somewhere. That shit they sell it. No, it's grow, it, you grow it, but you just don't put the chemicals on it. That's what Look, makes it organic. Go grow your own food. Yeah. Organic mean it's and little it's gonna be and nasty ugly. as fuck. And you're gonna go right back to eating That's shit what organic you just eat. Mean. But I can't, I can't believe I wasted 13 months on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Two squash and four cucumbers. All right. <laughs> It, it sounds good until you go to the doctor and they say, tell us your family history when something wrong with you. And then the doctor might come in and say, hey, uh, yeah, you ate that fruit and that shit was poisonous. <laughs> the shit you tried to grow at your house? Yeah, you I spraying that shit you learned on YouTube on it? You don't put alcohol on your food ever, sir. <laughs> <laughs> when they ask you, explain the illnesses in your family. Exactly. Men, oh, all of them mental. <laughs> what if I come from a family full of healthy, crazy motherfuckers? <laughs> they ate good. They just was fucked up upstairs. Strong as ox. That right. shit insane. The craziest <laughs> vegans you ever met in your life. Healthy as a horse. Plenty of energy. Nobody could take them down at the mental institution. Four security guards to get my uncle uh, Ned down. Him and the big Samoan dude. He used to break handcuffs like this. <laughs> Beat up 12 police officers. <laughs> Stuck a police stick up his ass. <laughs> Turned that nigga to a popsicle. <laughs> Bro, you gotta stop. <laughs> That's why you go to therapy, so you don't be crazy. You learn about managing your emotions, so you better deal with life, before you end up like Ned. Exactly. Turned that nigga trick to Man. a popsicle. Oh my goodness. Uh, pay attention to your diet. You should pay attention to your diet. But treat yourself. Eat some bad shit, too. 
Because if you don't never eat no bad shit, the good shit ain't gonna work. What? I mean, you gotta get a, you gotta what give this shit something to do. You can't just be out here taking medicine all the time. You you got to let you got to put some bad shit in your body. You gotta eat some pepperoni pizza. So when you go vegan, your body can be like, man, remember we used to eat pizza and shit. It's the last pizza, boo boo. And this is gonna be lettuce after this. You know who would fucking agree with you? Who? Ocho Cinco. Yeah. He said he eat McDonald's every day. One of the healthiest niggas you ever seen. Make a callus in your body where you can't get hurt because it's bad for you, so it make you. Listen, tough when you make it, if he make it to That's an, what he said. when you make it to an older age, if he makes it to an older age, when your body starts to meet, you know, it's demise. Like all this stuff play a role in the quality of life when you get to that point. Right. This is it's important. Okay, so you saying. If you twerk a lot in your twenties and then you eat right, that your knees still gonna be good. And you're <laughs> if you if you eat foods that actually promote bone health and yeah, stuff like like oxtails. you oxtails. No. You gotta eat shit like that. No. Shit with bones. No. Bone broth. So listen, I teach a Zoom class on diet, right? Most people don't understand. Like you only supposed to eat to get essential nutrients. Most of the stuff that we eat is for like recreational, just socializing. Just it's literally just more carbs. This why any diet or anytime you're trying to get healthy, they tell you to watch your carbs because of course you're just consuming more than what your body actually needs to function. Eat and most of us nowadays we live off of convenience, so we're not doing a lot of physical activity. Like how he was explaining it when you grow up in the country on the farm, you getting up at the crack of dawn working all day long, you burn off all this stuff. We're not that doing that. With the bone yeah, in it. we not we not doing that. Bitch, eat a eat a breakfast like that and then go in the salon and just stand up behind a chair putting on lace wigs <laughs> for seven hours, know. eight hours. Nothing ain't burnt off. That shit just sitting. Who is we? People doing this shit every day. Who are you trying to say? Just people in general. Urban people in general, poor people. This, the, my point is, right. these are the conversations live. in our community that's not being had. White people talk about this shit all day long. Well, you can't you know? eat yes, they do. Man, they okay. have come. Listen. Man, people don't be talking about this yes, shit. They do. Yes, they I've been do. around them. Listen, Star Wars was the greatest movie ever. Did you see number 16 when in R2-D2? He has a brother, but he only shows up in episode 9. That's the shit white people be talking about. Well, what about... Dude, what? bring some bacon, you fucking douchebag. What about when we leave? He ain't talking about... Dude. He ain't talking about the white people for the Trump part. so much fucking bacon, man. <laughs> Let's give all the bacon to the black. We made a million off pork belly. Dude, we gotta sell it to him. I bought a bunch of expired pigs. I don't know. White people don't be giving no fuck. They don't, see, that's the thing about the white people. They don't give a fuck what other white people doing. No, they they, they have these conversations. I'm tired of being, I'm tired of being grouped they... in with y'all. <laughs> the black community. All these years of stagnation. I can't leave. Motherfuckers get together in two weeks and get some rights. We can't get our shit together after <laughs> 900 years. This why we, we don't have, to have proper like representation. Stuff. Who represents the black community? What's the number? Where is the building? That's the problem. And some shit happened right now in the black community. We don't have shit but Facebook. No, the problem is these are the number we can call. We don't have a building. Every time some shit go down, they call down the entertainer. That's who represents us. The problem is we need the to have these conversations more often. They don't never have their entertainers doing no politics shit unless they running for some shit. You know black people out there yeah, eating healthy. Down there. Ooh. They invite you over to eat and be like, you better put some yams on that plate. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't getting no yam. <laughs> we gotta normalize talking about this shit though. We, Therapy. We do. Dating and getting to know people before you just fuck. No, that's that's watching your do- We have 300 years of research that lets you know that that's not true. So you can debate it all you we want. We got to. a whole bunch of kids walking around with a lot of mamas that feel like they better off without daddies. We got a lot of... Them people chose to have them kids. Stop acting like these people are accidents. 
No, I ain't saying the accidents. It was done on purpose. Exactly. But it was done to be, be to be used as a pawn based on emotion. You know how many, listen, let's just be real for a second. I counsel people all day long. Like I get paid for them to, you know, I'm get on one-on-one -on -one calls. I'm your office in protest. <laughs> I'm gonna count everything you say. You made the right decision. <laughs> single, mom, single moms are hotter. <laughs> You don't need a man, sister girl. You tell him. Eat what the fuck you want. <laughs> hey, hey, don't let him talk to you about eating that bacon. Big girls are sexy too. <laughs> <laughs> you just be like, you just want to save everybody. No, we need to know that stuff. Some people gonna listen. Like one thing you did say that was 100% correct. Some people gonna listen, some people not. But the idea is, you to keep giving the information so it becomes the norm that you talk about this kind of stuff. Okay, look, give them some information. Just we done gave it to them. Eight days. Look, eating a lot of vegetables does not prolong your life. <laughs> what? Just like smoking you know cigars you know is not a safe I'm gonna say this too. I'm gonna say this cigarettes. too. We eating the wrong vegetables. Goddamn right. We not eating the old people's vegetables that old people eat. Y'all niggas ain't eating rutabaga. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't eating when motherfucking you mustard greens. When the last somebody throw a motherfucking rutabaga in something. Nigga, you ain't ate a radish. Come on, man. Niggas ain't ate none of that shit, dog. All them shits that, that them old people really used to eat, Niggas dog. ain't eating ambrosia out here. Ambrosia, <laughs> nigga? You supposed to be eating rhubarb, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You supposed to be eating scuffing all. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't put snap peas in nothing. <laughs> nothing. You ain't snapped a motherfucking pea. But you crack open a can. When the last time you seen a nigga with a turnip? <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't turned up with a turnip in so okay. motherfucking long. When the last time you had a big plate of beets, nigga? Beets? <laughs> Pickled beets, nigga. You're not eating the right vegetables. Y'all niggas don't old. eat no radishes. <laughs> None. <laughs> so ever, Man. Bro. And y'all niggas eating motherfucking sweet potatoes and calling them yams. Them on, yam, yam look like a fat ass elephant tail. <laughs> yam chunky than a bitch. I ain't seen no niggas with no sassafras. <laughs> Sarsaparilla. <laughs> that shit Man, y'all is crazy. They not, but they not eating those. You supposed to eat those where they at? They not selling. You supposed Mama. to understand what the vegetables or the foods you eat do, like what your I body. Know what rutabagas do? What they do? Shit, they rutabaga. <laughs> <laughs> that shit get you right. You can fuck something off a of rutabaga. What? Rutabaga while your family was so deep. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. No, but for real, you gotta understand what the food, what your body break the foods down into. Yeah. Like I talk about um, some foods, you know, they your body turn them into digestive enzymes. Yep. So for people that eat a lot. <laughs> But people that eat a lot of carbs and like red meat and stuff like that, your body could struggle to break that down. But if you eat foods like pineapples, papayas, certain foods that your body uses them and they become digestive enzymes, they can help break break that down. Yeah. I know y'all don't heard them say you have like a bunch of undigested red meat in your system. Eating stuff like that can help digest that. You gotta just understand what the foods do yep. so that you eat <clears> with a purpose. That's why you gotta eat them rutabagas and shit. And you gotta look at your boo-boo. If you want to just get it all out, you, you gotta see go. if you healthy or not. You look you at your shit. You gotta look at trade. your boo boo. You look at you your shit. You, you gotta know. look at it. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold up, what? I'm missing one. Mm -mm, I ain't though. You stupid. I ain't though. Disgusting. I know I ain't though. <laughs> that magnesium citrate clear y'all too. That's the home remedy. Drink Make that shit. Make it to the bathroom. Yeah. You might do it for a drug test. I wonder if your body ever, like, like inside your body, your body gonna be like, man, come on, I needed these little germs, man. I'm finna do something with these little stomach germs. Okay, 36 vegetables for Go you. Go for it. You don't know nothing about these. Go for you don't know that vegetable? <laughs> black radish. Black radish, the black one. What you know about Okinawan's purple sweet potatoes? Oh, you talk about the big ones? That's what Mr. Miyagi from. That's the long ones. They long. All right. No. Nope. When a nigga ever had some Chinese artichokes? Artichokes are very good for you. How did artichoke? Okay. All right. Come on. Let's go. 
You want another one? Let's go. Fiddleheads. <laughs> what? Now nah, I ain't never heard of that. That's in Fiddle Faddle. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this nigga dead serious. I'm looking at it. Fiddleheads. All right, bet. When was the last time a nigga ever had some ramps? What it's called? Ramps. I might, like I, might a, have, I might have had some ramps like back in like. That, <laughs> no, that, that sounds like a, a awkward yeah, sexual no, ramps. See, they had the onion bender. They like some oh. light spring onions. See? Okay. You don't know nothing about leeks. Wild leeks. Leeks, I know leeks. You don't know about no leeks. Wild leeks. Niggas used to get twisted off. Okay, leeks. what you know about that dos? Huh? Dos. How you say it? <laughs> dos. It's like, it's like pulse with a D. Dos. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it's tubular. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nah, see, ground. it looked like cabbage, but it's actually seaweed. Oh, it's cabbage. Oh. <laughs> See, this, this shit pronounced a lot of ways. This shit, Some people call this shit yikama, and some people call hickama. it hickama. Oh, people in jikama. California love some hickama. Okay, there you go. Oh, I knew you was a, a well-traveled they nigga. They knew, ain't nothing but some water, chestnuts, or crest, right. or some shit. What you know about? You know, old people call it some shit. This ain't nothing but little, little, little What white. you know about cold rabbit, dude? Huh? Cold rabbit. Rabbit. Cold rabbit. All right, how you rabbit? It's like a mix between lettuce and cabbage, but it's got some other shit growing on it. It's rabbit? You can eat it raw or you can cook it. What's it called? What some said? people put it in a salad. I or can't they... tell if he said rabbit or rabbit. No, I'm going to show it to you to let you look at the list after this so you mm -hmm. know I ain't bullshitting. It's called cold rabbit. Mm-hmm. What yeah, you that know? sounds like some old people shit. We got some cold rabbit in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about Romanesco broccoli? Bro. Romanesco? Yeah. You talking about the, the Russian nigga? That used to no, be it's, it's Romanesco broccoli, a.k.a. Nico. Romanique cauliflower. It looked like, it looked like regular Romanesco. broccoli. It resemble regular broccoli. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually cauliflower of some sort. It looked like some shit Super Mario would eat. Doo -doo. <laughs> this nigga power up. Okay. Do you know what salsify is? What is that? It's a root vegetable. Sassafras family. Nope. Mm -mm. It's in the family. It looked just like a brown stick, but it's a vegetable. <laughs> what? It do, that's what it says. It said it looked just like a brown stick. The vegetable is actually related to the parsnip, and it's tasty, and it's a very versatile vegetable. Well, why we not eating these? Y'all don't think I would lie to y'all right off the, off the list? Because, because of our culture, because of generational curses. No, it's racism that's keeping this good shit out the hood. When the last time you ever heard of some sea pickles or some pickle weed? <laughs> sea pickles and pickle weed. Sound like some shit. But you, you see how yeah. he, you that can just that sound be, like weed. That could just be Google. You 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 ain't you don't get certain internet just because you black. You what you talking about? Say, you saying it's you know being kept. You sound like Bro, you need to eat talk. some sun choke. <laughs> you don't even know what that is. Look like look like ginger. You're right though. What is this list? This is the top foods that Negroes don't eat anymore. You don't even know what tomato tillos are. Tomatillos. There yeah. you go. Oh, yeah. nigga, that's, Come on, baby. Little green tomatoes, man. Make for some excellent goddamn sauce. This nigga, you know he is so gangster with you it. Dip it in there. It right. delicious. White asparagus. White asparagus. White. They all white? Oh, they got like Few a little... white people, no niggas. So they got like... <laughs> <laughs> You got a little green on the head? Nah. Nah, I ain't nothing. He, he's nope. saying that shit like a little kid that asked you to spell a word that they can't spell. Nope. Never had, you never heard of tiger nut? Tiger nut. How you spell it? It says tiger nuts make for a good alternative to nuts as a snack because very few people are allergic to them. And they also tend to be high in fiber and very satisfying. Tiger nuts. Yep. Help you go to the bathroom. Probably. You know about tiger nuts? I didn't know. I didn't know that terminology, but when he said it's high in fiber. Bruh, they got some shit called nopal that look just like cactus. Everything look like cabbage. He said, Apparently. you said cabbage or cactus? Cactus. Oh. They got some shit called a yard loan. That's another vegetable. Apollo broccoli, a.k.a. broccolini. Broccolini, I had broccolini. Nigga, this shit sounds like broccolini. a cold-ass rapper. You had broccolini before? I ain't never Come even on, heard man. of broccolini. It come with the sea bass. You had broccolini. You had sea bass and broccolini? Yeah. Y'all doing it bigger than me. They'll pair it up. <laughs> this nigga to my well, you See, I was surprised you even knew about the sea bass, because like this nigga said, this nigga really eats like four or five bags. I fucked with that sea bass. They tricked me. I thought it was regular bass. And I was like, this nigga came from the sea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Give me two more pieces of light bread. I knew these pieces was bigger. 
Dragon yeah, carry. Yeah. What is that? You need to get you get you a vegan wife. No, I don't. she'll cook. And she gotta eat this meat. I need a... <laughs> <laughs> she can cook all kind of good shit for you. You won't even have to think about it. She'll nope. put it together for you. No, she won't. What I what I what I need a wife for? What you don't want no wife? I'm saying, what, I, I, what, what, what tell him tell him what the what, Bible say about no, a man that find a wife. What you what, what, what you what made you come in here and say, I'm gonna put a wife on him? You don't want no wife? I didn't never say that, but what made you feel like I needed one? A man that found a wife found a good thing. And a man who found a wife done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you was doing good. <laughs> don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. That shit ain't good. When the last time you said I'm a happily married black man? You ain't. Shit so get you quiet. Don't think, you don't think it's very many happily married black men? Hell no. You agree? Man, you can find they more fucking in them pictures. So you you, you want to be uh, you want to you want to grow old alone? I can't speak for people. Let you let you tell it I ain't gonna grow old. I'm just gonna eat up <laughs> running until my motherfucking legs fall off and then I'll be straight. Don't worry, but I don't like how concerned you are about me. <laughs> Pepperoni in your sister. Right. <laughs> Pepperoni in the system, baby. Don't tell it. Will I need me some insulin? That's what they be yelling. Don't eat bacon. Cause you'll be shaken. Give you Parker's sons. Don't listen to this <laughs> No. Whatever. Oh. Now I appreciate Seek it. companionship. Why? Where your husband at? Right there. That's him? That's why he been laughing at your ass, cause he's sick of your shit too. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga wanted a piece of that pepperoni piece of bad what? motherfucker. What? <laughs> <laughs> nigga over there like, what? Then they done walked him all the way across his face. That boy sitting back there like, what? <laughs> shit, boy. Uh, boy, if I, I might walk back there and get me one of them, boy. <laughs> Baby girl talking about this sassafras ass shit. <laughs> she done threw away all my bacon. <laughs> he was in turkey. Think <laughs> you think your nigga don't sneak off and go get him a junior bacon cheeseburger right quick? Bacon nigga. Shit. <laughs> Extra bacon, please. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just eat nugget bacon <laughs> with the burger. I get side of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Man, the car wash, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to wash the car in the house. He tell that shit like you done did it before. Boy, she get in the car and look, key fall between the seats. She reaching there. Who the fuck man ain't bacon in here? <laughs> Beef jerky, that ain't no <laughs> She wake up, she smell the bacon. All she see is the little greasy paper towel. It's coming out your pores. Did you put the bacon in? <laughs> Hell no! Hell no! What's this? Watch your diet. Watch it's it. It's important. That's right. Pay attention to Please it. Watch. Right. Aim God to be an autodidact. Self-educate yourself. Don't just take what they give you in school, high school, elementary. Uh, don't educate yourself. Go ask somebody who's more educated than you. That's how you got fucked up the first time. Mm -mm. I hear thinking you know everything. He, he got a point <laughs> with creating people, creating circles around you, people that, you know, they say you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room, so you definitely want to be around people you can learn from. But stay in there a few more minutes. <laughs> Oh, Don't what? leave immediately. For what? Shit, sometimes it feel good to be the smartest motherfucker in there. <laughs> Tell them some shit they didn't know. No, you know how many the niggas think they successful because they in a room of a bunch of unsuccessful mothers. So they successful in the motherfucker based on the room they in. They yeah. got to get out. You the best they of the worst. Yes, this, and they be excited about that I'm shit. killing these niggas. They suck. <laughs> they suck, though. They not good. I'm killing them. Yeah, but you got to play somebody else. That's actually... That's when that's you. That's what niggas did. I, I get that. I'm telling you, that's when you're in the room. Everybody got forty dollars. You got two hundred, so you spread it like Kodak Black across your arm. You killing them. Mm mm. Don't do that. You got to get in better rooms. Get around people that you know can teach you some stuff. But they're not gonna let you in there because they know you don't know shit. <laughs> You supposed to be here. People, they, they act like smart people. Just like, hold on, let's wait a few more of these underprivileged <laughs> idiots to get here. 
gonna do one hour free program. No, you, you gotta be you gotta be a positive person. You gotta have your traumas and all of that stuff handled. You gotta be able to manage your emotions to get in rooms and actually learn from people that got more going on because they ain't gonna let you around them if you a stressor. No, they're not. But they damn sure gonna ask, hey, who man's is that? <laughs> Y'all know buddy. Don't think just because you're in the room, you're about to stay, because somebody will politely walk over to your ass and be like, hey, man, you got to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody here know you, bro. <laughs> and you were looking at my nigga bag, too. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you with? That's you you make a nigga go back to the other room. <laughs> you nigga should have never been in here. They got a room for unsuccessful people, too. <laughs> What, what goes on in that room? Nobody ever talking about what goes on in that room. I bet it's some great ideas, just no follow through. You think they gonna come get us? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is it. Why you think they gonna come get us? <laughs> now you know, most with, with, with people with an unsuccessful mindset, they usually always want to be right. They value, you know, they feelings over everybody else's. You can't really see stuff from multiple perspectives. A lot of that shit, it make you procrastinate. It stop you from being able to act on like good ideas and stuff. Right. And they can easily receive fear. Most most people that, you know, they they fully capable but don't apply themselves, they take on other people's fears. You say one thing about an idea they have that you feel like gonna go wrong, they ain't gonna do it. That's why the motherfuckers ain't successful for real. You gotta, you gotta stop being afraid to fail. Niggas already fail be up. failing. Yeah, that be the problem. It just the fear tack on top of that. So you actually just be complacent where you at, cause it's like you're not doing well at all, and then you afraid of this idea not working. If the idea don't work, you still you already fucked up. Niggas ain't doing well at all. So you get your one, fail forward, fail to that shit work. No, you know it's really one. And then if you get one, you know you can get another one. You know you like can get the other another one after the other one. Not if you still out here not eating your rutabagas. Hey, man. And pork. You gotta mix them together. Black radish. Come on. Broccolini. Come on, man. Love, Dorsey. This your first time in the trap. Don't let it be your last time. Anything you want to leave us with today? Eight dates. Mm -mm. Leave us with something else. <laughs> <laughs> Management of emotions, do therapy. Watch your diet. Multiple streams of income. More passive than active. That's right. Change your mindset. Yeah. Hell yeah, because your way ain't working. Don't be so nice to them. Let them know why. Tell them. Your way is not working. Stop educating yourself. Clearly, you are misinterpreting them people's information. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't heard shit them people said. Stop you, receiving. You heard, you heard what you wanted to do. <laughs> it did what you wanted to do with what the fuck but you But I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, though, before we go. Most people don't realize how you receive stuff, like how you interpret it, how you process it in your mind. That shit is a reflection of what's going on within you. So a lot of people don't realize their responses, the way that they do take information and respond to it. It comes from what's going on within. You yeah. know, when they do psych studies, they take certain pictures and videos, they'll show them to a bunch of people, and it's a reason why some people will look at it and see negative, and then some will look at it and see positive. It's all what's going on behind the eyes. Mm -hmm. There you have it, folks. Everybody ain't built like that. I told you we give people too much credit. Some people have limited capacity up there. And ain't shit we can do about it. Limited. Limited. Mindset will never change. Hey man, you can't pour nothing in the full cup. Damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> man, okay. work on self. You Everybody can't. has the ability to change their mindset. Hey, but if you already like yourself, stay who you are. Don't keep changing, because you're going to fuck around and change to some shit you shouldn't have been. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta leave well enough alone. Oh, I can't wait to change. You already a good person. Don't be I out here trying to be a wait. better person. I can't wait to change. Stay good. It ain't enough good people. <laughs> this nigga said it like it's a plot to no, get somebody. I can't wait. I'm Sometimes so you just different. gotta leave well enough alone. Don't do all that extra ass shit. I'm acting so different, nigga. I'm getting <clears throat> rat tail. <laughs> See, just one put on. I'm not even gonna grow it naturally. <laughs> 
And I'm gonna make you treat it like it's real. <laughs> shit I'm, like that. Yeah. And I'm gonna direct shit. I'm gonna wear all type of old vintage clothes. Yeah. But you know what you said it. The idea is life is an ongoing journey to getting to know you. So yep. you, you're supposed to get to a space where you like you. That's when you really start to see, you know, things for what they are. Sometimes. I'm just saying, man. People who don't like themselves, they can't see clear. That's a fact. People who don't like themselves know more about themselves than we ever will. They might be doing us all a favor. <laughs> They don't like me. Yeah, I, I got to know hey, you. Hey, man, too. they don't talk me so negative. Don't be so hard on yourself. No, man, you don't know. I'm, I'm really a piece of shit, man. I see why you don't like you. <laughs> don't make me tell you how bad of a person I am, man. Trust me, you don't want to know. But yeah, man, that's just the type of shit we've been doing over here. This has been another great episode of the 85 South Show. Yay! Love Dorsey. Love Dorsey. Play me English. Let's go. Uh, man, take us some. What do people say? Man, take us some pictures, man. <laughs> Who phone it in? Give Cat his phone back. Made in Georgia. What's crap? This is an original piece. It's called Fuck Raid. <laughs> I was in the bathroom doing my thing by the rags. Next thing I know, <coughs> cough, cough, gag. <laughs> what is going on from my dad to my mom, the owner, trying to evict us? He set off a roach bomb. <laughs> Life as a roach. First of all, we don't crawl. We got legs too. We in the bed too. Oh shit, he almost stepped on my head too. Life as a roach. There are crumbs <laughs> under the refrigerator, crumbs on the counter. There is a loaf of bread, that's what I said, if you ain't scared to be seen with the lights on. Life. As a roach. As a roach. Please don't get us confused. We ain't no fuck ass ants. I'm a motherfucking roach. I'll crawl up your pants. Don't ever go to sleep. Cause we'll crawl on your head. God damn it. Cousin Johnny didn't make it. That nigga is dead. <laughs> Shit. Hold up. Wait a minute. He just on his back. And his legs still moving. Once the lights go off, we got to get his ass moving. Life as, as a, a roach. roach. What's crap?